Yo, daddy's home. The beard is already coming back. Let's go. Happy Monday. Happy start to the week. <laughs> Except I'm not wearing the glasses today. The glasses are actually on the other side of my room. I could get the new glasses. I uh, I wore them all day today for work. I just uh, honestly, I like was cleaning them and I took them off and I put the old red ones back. But honestly, you know, the uh, the reds are the staple for the stream, guys. Right. So obviously we can't be too upset about that, man. What's up, Arcane TZ Online? We be farming. Yes, yes. Well, honestly, the worst part about these 10 p.m. Central TZs, like I think Mephisto, yeah, Mephisto's 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to stream because Andy is TZ'd and I think she might be at 9. The worst part about the 10 p.m.s is like sometimes I want to end the stream at like 10.30 if I want to go watch something on Netflix or I'm tired or I got to wake up early. But when you have a good rotation like this from uh, Mephisto from 10 to 11, I haven't streamed all last week. It's hard to kind of skip out on that. And salt, salt and pepper boys are back. I miss that shadow. That's a, good, that's a good one. Nice. I hope you guys are doing good, man. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are doing well. Definitely missed you guys last week. God, I was starting to work on that Shaco video to release the new video series, and I just got totally sidetracked with work. I got to go to New York City Thursday and Friday for I'm doing a thought leadership dinner with a uh, analyst in the ad tech space. I'm going to host a private intimate dinner with him at a Michelin star restaurant. That's going to be fire. So I'll be doing a quick um, quick trip to New York and then I'll be back. I'm going to try to be streaming Saturday and then I'll be around. April's actually a busy month for me. I got to go to Miami for work, staying at the Fountain Blue uh, in about a week and a half. And then I got to go do another trip at the end of April into June, uh, taking the kids somewhere for the whole week. So, yeah, daddy's going to be uh, MIA for a little bit. So April will be a bit volatile in terms of content and streams time. So, yo, Shady Geek, what's good, brother? Good to see you. All right. Well, since we can't stay very long, Shady, let's just kick this uh, into high gear, man. Let's get these things rock and rolling, fellas. Good to see the horde. Always a pleasure to see my berserkers. What would I do without you, gentlemen? Gentlemen and scholars, you all are my dudes. All right, let's see what we got on the TZ rotational tap. Obviously, you guys know that I am a very big fan of my warm up reps. So we like to do usually some P7 LK, little P5, P7 Andy pops. But we do have Countess right now. So actually, we might want to do a little Countess action. We'll have to see what's going on. So, guys, let's get the timer going. Let's not forget because Shady always calls me out to start the timer. So we are officially at 87%. We had some decent finds on the last run. Don't forget to ES and CTA. We have to remember that we do have those now. Big noob action. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> oh, boy, we're back in the building. We're back in the building. Boys are back in town. All right. All right, we're P7 right now. Let's go knock out a little LK action. We got some warm-up reps, like I said, in with Andariel. And then because we still have about what will be 30 or so minutes left specifically of uh, Countess, well, then we might as well go get after it with Countess. Ooh, man, these guys are going down easy. Orb is feeling real nice. Orb is feeling real nice right about now. Pop, pop. God, I missed energy shield. Oh, of course, there's some leapers right there because, of course, we're going to run into leapers in LK. We always run into the electric leapers, the nightmare fuel, the ones that sent war to the shadow realm on his first hardcore grail rip. Oh, my God, we have a secondary pack down there with Fana that is also extra fast. That looks like a lot of fun. Wow, these guys are not going down easy on P7. Not going to lie there. Well, I can get cute. I'll we'll try to take out these uh, minions at first here. Uh, that was not a lot of fun there. All right, let's pop on over here. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, wow, okay. A little bit of a reverb action here. Let's see. Where was the jab? We got the ruby. We'll keep that because I like actually the rubies because the ruby... Yo! Cron Daily coming in with... <laughs> the buy me a coffee thank you brother man cron is self-funding my tall boy addiction on stream just because of that cron i might have to go celebrate and cheers you with the tall boy in the not too distant future here on the stream big daddy dude that was hilarious when you were like hey are you at dell's because we were definitely looking at dell's by the way it was just i think we were talking about it because you know lake, lake geneva is like such a straight shot for me it's like an hour and a half north, and so it's so easy for me to get over there. 
And so when my wife and I were kind of planning and thinking about stuff, we were just like, ah, yeah, you know, we're just going to do the Lake Geneva action. Not that we wouldn't ever go to Dell's. We probably would eventually check it out. I just think that much, much easier for me to just uh, straight short north into uh, oop, over into where we went. Yo, what's up, Shady? I've been playing PoE League. <laughs> Don't let wife you know. Maybe you're tripping today and I got pretty good energy. Um, I would say, you know what it was? Actually, you're, you're going to laugh at what I'm about to tell you, Shadow, and you're going to say very based. Yep, that definitely checks out. So I had my double espresso this morning, and then only about three hours later, I realized that I was already kind of wanting my second re-up. Instead of making a black coffee, I actually had a Zoa. So that Zoa had 160 milligrams of caffeine on top of the two espresso shots I already had in the morning. That's probably a little bit of the energy you're feeling tonight, Shadow. You know that I love a good Zoa from my boy, Dwayne Johnson, the rock himself. So I think that the, the Zoa is to is to blame for my energy, if you will. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to lie. When I actually took it, I, like I came out of my office for a second. And my wife was like, are you OK? I was like, dude, no, I actually almost felt like I was having like an anxiety moment for a second because it just normally the Zoas don't hit me that bad. Even if I have it as a secondary. Ooh, that's not too bad. Actually, a 7 FHR with uh, LR. Ah, that's kind of cute. Felt cute. Might delete later. Um, Anyways, um, yeah, I was definitely a little bit cracked out. But honestly, I think part of the energy is just the fact that, look, I haven't obviously streamed with you guys last week. It's obviously good to have the crew around here as always. And so, yeah, I just wanted to bring some positive vibes on this Monday, man. Usually I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays or rather Tuesday Fridays, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, Zoa, man. Dude, I, I Black Rifle Coffee was a client of mine. Uh, I do drink their coffee. I have their silencer black beans uh, actually in my drawer as we speak, Kron. Uh, I used to follow Matt and those guys on Instagram. And then ironically, in the media space, when they were starting their television advertising, I reached out to them at my last company and I actually got a contract done with them, Matt and the crew. So, yeah, we were doing their television streaming, connected television marketing. So, yeah, I, I, I know the Black Rifle guys moderately well, not on like a personal friendly level, of course. But, uh, yeah, I have a Black Rifle shirt. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like what obviously they're doing from a veteran owned establishment and obviously always supporting the cause and the veteran side. So, yeah, 100 percent, man. Uh, I always love black coffee. That's usually what I drink. Obviously, if I'm having like espressos and stuff in the morning, then from that vantage point, um, you know, I might have a little, you know, I don't I try to stay away from dairy if I can get away with it. So like I'll put, you know, oat, almond, like something in my coffee just because obviously like I'm not lactose, but it's just, you know, I don't really want to have too much dairy in the morning just for me. Um, but yeah, if I'm having, oh, damn. What's up, Fana? But yeah, if I'm having coffee, it's mostly black, um, which is why buy me a coffee is very befitting my love for actual coffee. Um, but yeah, if we're talking a latte and stuff or an Americano or anything like that, I'll kind of do all the above. Cold brews are always a treat. Cold brew is always delicious and nutritious. Ooh, greater talons, barctics. Let's go. Not a grail find, though. Yeah, the vet thing gets you, man. I mean, it's obviously it's a, it's a good look what those guys are doing. I like what they're doing. Honestly, I'm going to actually keep this Bartix. I think it's my second. Not that I'm ever going to make an early mosaics. And obviously you would getting be making mosaics. You would not be using the Bartix. But from a crawl, walk, run perspective, you know, we'll have to see. What's up, Shadow? Is it the strategy to get theory wired before every stream? Well, see, that's the thing like I always joke about from you guys. And I know like Shadow always joke like, I don't think you guys why well, I mean, I'm sure you guys empathize and respect my situation that I'm like working all day. I have the kids in bedtimes and then I have to always muster the energy when I'm making content. At, ooh, lum rune. I would love a lum rune, but I'll take the lum. Um, you know, when I'm like obviously making content, right? It's like I have to muster the energy or even on streams. Right. And so I would say like, God, I would love to stream during the day because I feel like obviously like most people, your energy would be at its peak point. Right. And I think for me, like that'd be the beauty of it. Right. Is that I don't you know, I don't I wouldn't really. Oh, there he is. There was one of where the unique was. Um, 
yeah, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't really need even coffee or any of that stuff, right? I just feel like I would already have enough like natural organic energy in general. Oh, wow, that was a really shitty pop. Uh, we got a mixed in champion somewhere in there. Is it leapers or it's buzzards? Oh, it's the buzzards. OK, those guys are easy to get down even on P7. We like the buzzards. Those guys are very easy to slay. Those are very relatively non-threatening. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I could stream earlier in the day, boys and girls. Oh, yeah, we'd, we'd be at another level of energy. Oh, yeah, we'd be doing good. What's up, Shady? If you're a lactose intolerant, just become a tolerating person. It's the PC thing to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we got to get some ID scrolls here. All right, what do we got? Ooh, FHR with defense. Probably don't. Well, you know what? I don't know if I'm ever going to need that from a breakpoint perspective, and I do like that it's got the plus four defense. So let's go ahead and add that here. We will add the Lum Rune up here and over. All right, guys, let's go do some TZ uh, Countess. So we're going to finish the LK. We're going to go do the Andy, and then we'll go do a couple Countess runs. All right. How about that? Man, I wonder what meth is going to drop us tonight. We would love some prime time drops since obviously we haven't streamed for a week. So if we can get some ooh, superior troll nest, let's take a look at that. I'm probably never going to. Ooh, damn. Nice. That's too bad. It's three socket, but it's durability. We would have preferred that on the ED side of the aisle. Not sure what I'm going to actually do with that. Maybe I won't really use that much now. Come to think of it. We'll have to see. Maybe. Let's see what do we got here in this reaver. Oh, there's another GC. Or is that GC? Uh, oh, it's a cold, which we always like given the Sunder, but I have better cold. Ooh, Elrune, baby. Elrune, let's go. Light it up. Light it up. Let's see, we got the champ hack, but we don't really want that. I don't really care about that. All right, let's get over here. I can see Liv saying I've become shady tolerant. Uh, it was really funny. Liv, Liv was uh, Liv saw that I was going to be in New York, or at least I told her, and she was like, hey, Theory, maybe we can meet up. And honestly, like, I always joke with you guys. If you guys will, not that it would ever be weird to connect in person, but it would be kind of fun to, like, hang out with, with the crew in person or grab a beer, coffee, whatever. Um, I would probably meet up with Liv and Jordy. I mean, if they wanted to say what up in New York City, as long as I don't get stabbed in a fucking back alley or something and have to go to a <laughs> joke in public place. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in New York, you know, relatively frequently. Obviously, Kron is really close. I mean, it's funny, like not only is Kron close, but uh, Brad, when he's here, like Brad is really, really close to me as well. And then I think uh, Bob, uh, who is a... Uh, great supporter has always commented always supported me on the content side doesn't really drop by the streams though um he's also pretty close by i mean shady's a state or two over um there's a lot of people here in the midwest i actually joke so if i ever did like a theory meetup thing you know that'd be pretty funny i think it'd be a, a kick out of that Oh, what do we got here? Heraldic, Broadax, Flail, Claymore. Yeah, Soul Play. Yeah, we don't need Soul. We don't need Cathans. Pop, pop, pop. All right. So let's go over to Countess. We're going to go down there on P7. But obviously, when we get down to Countess, we will throttle back to Players 1. Yeah, or, or that's the New York City. Um, that's a New York City way, Shadow. As my dad always said, he's like, I mean, he know he knows I can handle myself, but he's like, son, keep your head on a swivel, man. I'm like, oh, I got you. I got you. I will keep my head on a swivel. You don't got to worry about that. Ooh, nice. Look at this little elite right down the stairs. Little holy fire elite. Okay. Thanks for that. Ooh, man. Imagine if these were steel runs. That would have been fucking epic because I do need steel runs, by the way. That would have been honestly pretty fucking awesome. Not going to lie. I just got Steel Wrens right there to start the stream on that Elite right there. Good Lord. That would have been beautiful. What if it was Liv that stabbed you? Honestly, like, Liv might want to take my kidney. I'm a little concerned. I'm not... <laughs> hey, Theory, I really want to meet up for coffee. Let's go to this place, like, 9 o'clock at night. All right. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that, Shady. 
little concerned for my well-being. What are Liv's true intentions of befriending me this whole time? Oh, is there elite here? No. Uh, pop. Any elite? No. All right. One more level to go. Let's go get the archers up here real quick, and then we'll come back down so we don't get popped from off screen. <laughs> Shady, what's good, man? How's how's the uh, how's wifey? How's work? Kron, what's good with you, brother? I know you had Atlanta. You got kind of got back into town. You were enjoying a a beer with me over up in the Wisconsin area. Soul rune. Don't need that. I already got one too many souls. If you feel me. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, sorry, uh, Shadow, I missed that. Have I heard about the wide, widespread robberies? I haven't heard about the... Well, I've heard about the girls getting punched, which is crazy. I don't know if that's what you're referring to on the widespread robberies. But yes, if you're referring to that, yeah, that's pretty wild. Like all the girls getting punched, that just like blows my mind. It's like, dude, I mean, it's kind of funny though, right? I feel like New York City got really rough during COVID. I feel like it brought the crazies out and a lot of like the homeless. I just feel like it was a bit nutty there for a while. And I think that it like... You know, it's it's kind of like normalized to a degree. It's just New York City, and I feel like it still gets a bad rep being New York. But I mean, to me, New York is New York these days. Like, I think it's just getting more, quote unquote, like media attention. I wouldn't necessarily say with definitive certainty that it's like any worse when it comes to like robberies and stuff. But yeah, this like the latest string of the girls getting punched in the face or sucker punch. Like, that's just like a what the F is going on, dude. And also, like, I mean... I have to think that a good if there's any self-respecting male, if you see a woman get punched, like you better fucking pummel that dude. Like, I don't even care if the dude is twice your size. Like, you just got to interfere in that situation. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't really know like where I haven't like looked at it that closely. So I don't exactly know where and how they're getting punched. If it's in alleys or, you know, coming off subways or like whatever it is. But yeah, I saw a bunch of like Instagram posts and stuff about it, which is just a little crazy. Yeah, I, I, um, I read about, yeah, I read about the National Guard and the subway thing. So yeah, to your, to your point, I think it's specifically the subways. The subways and the crime definitely got bad down there for sure. Like that I have also heard and read, ooh, SR, what do we got? Ooh, 26, that's not bad. We'll keep that. Uh, I heard something somewhere. I thought I heard a oh, Eldrin. Pop, pop, pop. What's up? Yes, sir, Atlanta. It was a great time hanging with my peers. Going to be in Madison for three days for work this weekend. Then I have company in town. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. You're working crazy hours and the house renovations are taking over my soul. Yeah, dude, honestly, house stuff is always tricky, Shady, but I know, I know you're going to appreciate what I'm going to say. But obviously, like, it's all part of the process, right? It's like... When you can just get get it to a place where it needs to be and then it's all kind of behind you, man. Like, that's the best part of it, you know? That's you can kind of celebrate all the hard work. Yeah, I, I, I talked to a couple of my buddies, by the way, shout out about that, though, because they all still live in New York City. And I asked them that question about the National Guard and, like, their immediate reaction. And, and they lived there for a long time is they don't really necessarily feel, quote unquote, that it's any worse. So it's, like, hard to say. Like, I think it kind of... Obviously, the National Guard being deployed is is verification in itself that things are getting a little rough. But I think I, I don't know if I could if we could like definitively say like, hey, it's really, really that bad again, relative to what it's kind of been like. 
I just think that like stuff happens in New York all the time, like most major cities, right? And so I think what was basically going on was that, you know, if it's not highly publicized, you're not gonna necessarily see very much. Um, and I think that was kind of part of the issue and kind of what was going on. And then now that obviously there were some situations that were a little bit worse off and kind of hit the press, I think that's why it just ended up getting a little bit more media attention. Ooh, we did get a try runer here. A dull ith and a tall. Not exactly stuff we care about. The only reason I'm picking up the ith runes is Shadow Nose is because we wanted to definitely roll some more caster belts, which actually, now that I think about it, I do have a decent amount of iths right now, and we have plenty of junk jewels. So maybe on the next game right here, we're going to go take a break and go roll another caster. All right, let's go roll another caster belt because why not all right let's move up here we're going to move the ith rune we're going to move that over I'm pretty sure it is an amethyst uh let's oh. all right let's go sell this for some gold we're going to go gamble a shark skin belt and then we are going to go gamble for the caster we really desperately would love to get a spider web sash the good old arachnid because if i get the arachnid then I can take off this temporary caster belt, which would then also allow me to consider putting on the SOJ and or the Wisp contingent on the situation and what we are basically looking at as it relates to zone. Come on, show me the light or the shark skin belt. Oh, damn. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it was a vampire fang. That's even better. There we go. Ooh, Shadow, look what we got here. Ooh, man, that almost was fun. Damn, that is a really brutal low life roll. But what are we what are we wearing right now again, though? So this is what we're, we're, we're what we're wearing right now, though. This is kind of interesting, actually, because this one. Uh, the PLR is actually nice against Andy and the FHR, I think, helps us potentially hit the break point. I don't really have a need for five strength right now, but this belt isn't honestly half bad. Honestly, I think this is actually better than some of the other ones that we had over here because these two were very... Oh, let me go over here. You guys can't see them. Yeah, these two were very mediocre. I mean, this one was nice because it actually had 16 strength. Uh, low on the mana, uh, but there really wasn't anything else on there. But from a strength belt, that was nice. This one, nah. Uh, I am seeing a bad, it's interesting, it's showing that the bit rate is a little high on stream, but I'm not seeing any drop frame shadow. Let me refresh the stream dashboard and let me see what it's saying over on Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, my face is going to get a little bright here. Hmm. Seems to say that it's okay. I don't know. Let me know. Yeah, YouTube's good. It's just weird. I'm looking at my Twitch creator dashboard and it's showing a red bit rate. But then when you actually click the inspector, it actually shows green. I've been noticing that lately a little bit, which has been annoying, actually, um, with Twitch is that it basically shows it as like the bit rate being too high, even though it's not. Because then when I go into the inspector, it's actually green. And then when I monitor any drop frames over in Streamlabs, it shows zero, which means it's not dropping any frames. So YouTube should generally be fine uh, i don't know why sometimes it has that uh odd or or weird behavior but welcome to the multicasting joke as we guys have always talked about but that's why i got i know i've been saying it, guys like i just got to find time and get my baseline obs set up and give that a go from a multicasting perspective um because that should make it uh, a lot easier being able to do that and then I can better control for the bitrate and encoding to do different endpoints from Twitch and YouTube. But yeah, YouTube always, honestly, these days is generally... YouTube's been good. YouTube generally hasn't been having any issues, or when it has been, again, it's usually been like Comcast, as we've talked about on the stream. So for the most part, I mean, it's definitely, uh, definitely Twitch. Twitch I've been having a little bit more issues with lately. I don't know why. Been a little bit trickier on its encoding. 
Man, I always, I feel like, do Countess, and I never get drops, even going through tower. Maybe I just have bad luck, but, like, me and Countess don't really get along. I feel like we've done a ton of her runs, even Terrorize, and we don't really get a bunch of drops. Oh, man. Well, if it isn't American Psycho, the stabber herself, Liv. I realize you don't have context of what we're referring to, Liv, but we were, we were having a little, little bit of a joke. We were saying that when you want to hang out with me in New York City, it's your secret to stab me and steal my liver in a dark alley. L-O-L, -L, Demon King, Demon Queen. Michael Myers style. Ooh, man, that P7 action taking a little bit of time. The humongous, or brain you. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, let's see. Bye-bye, Theory. All good, buddy. Hey, thanks for dropping by, as always, Shady Man. Good to see you, homie. Uh, glad to hear your voice. Glad you're doing well. Please continually check in time to time in the stream. Ooh, is this our, uh, is this our Black Cleft? Did we finally get the Black Cleft? Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me take out this Elite Ghost Pack here. That'd be wonderful. Let's see, Shady, before you leave, we got to ID this bad boy. Yo, Bibby, what's up, dude? What's good? All right, hold on, Shady. Let me just kill this guy. He's cold enchanted, so he's taking a little bit longer on P7. No, it's not. It's not a Geeds because I was able to pick it up. Ah, too bad, man. It fucking bricked. Ah, uh, Shady Geek. Shady Geek did not bring us the RNG before he left, but that's okay. Shady Geek has brought us plenty. Plenty when he's wanted it. When Shady Geek feels like sharing, you know, sharing is caring, you know, then we're in a good spot, but, you know. Like I said, we got, I don't remember what TZ rotation is coming up in the next nine minutes, but we do have Mephisto coming up at 10 o'clock central. So that's kind of the, the primary point of the stream tonight, because that's obviously what we really, really care about. Hopefully Meph is going to drop us some juiciness. Oh, little Dusk Adherent Shroud. Don't care about that. <laughs> Dude, honestly, at this point, maybe that is like the sacrificial lamb. Maybe, maybe we do need to actually have me Charcy that live. So that'll kind of parlay some good karma to me over on single player, Kron. Fuck, dude, another brick. Another brick from Countess. Uh, I will take the F, though. That's always nice. Oh, let's get those ghosts. Those always kill ghosts. <laughs> You really want me to sacrifice it? Oh, man. Well, I guess to be fair, are you, are you playing your Din? I mean, honestly, bro, jo jokes aside, it'd be really funny to sacrifice it to the gods for the sake of my grail. But, bro, if you really want to trade it and parlay it into something, man, by all means, please do that. Obviously, I know we're just having some fun, but... Um, you really want to sacrifice it? You want? Do you want me to log on right now and, and you want me to sell it live on stream? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, guys, we're going to go over to join Kron real quick because uh, he really desperately wants to go. <laughs> he found a tall Rosh's amulet. And as you guys know, the tall's Ami still eludes us on the grail after 170 hours. And so here we are. Kron found tall's Ami. And so we are going to sacrifice this to the RNG gods and go sell this right now since we desperately need to find this bad boy on my grail. So we're going to go over to my boy. Uh, we're going to go to Geeds here. Mr. Gamble Geeds here himself. We are going to go sacrifice this tall Rosh's amulet. We're going to sacrifice this, okay, to the gods. All right, here we go, guys. 
All right, to the RNG gods. It's been 174 hours and 24 minutes on my offline hardcore single player grail. And you have refused to drop me a Tal Rosh's amulet. But my berserker, my horde, Kron himself found this online hardcore. And we are going to sacrifice this to the RNG gods, the RNG servers of Blizzard, in hopes of willing this into existence, hopefully in the coming weeks. So here we go, Geeds. Please take this as a sacrificial lamb. Boom! It's gone. We sacrifice it to the ether of the gods. Let's go. We are going to find Tall Zami, hopefully in the coming weeks. Thank you, Kron, for that. Also, thank you again for those two coffees earlier. Let's go, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. It's sacrifice, man. <laughs> this is for the Annie I ripped. That is true. I did give Kron an Annie, and he died like within an hour. Total peasant move. Total skill issue, Kron. Skill issue, man. Skill issue. Sacrifice it like Bartman baseball, man. <laughs> What's up, submission? Skill issue. Skill issue, Kron. All right, let's go roll this beautiful amethyst. We love those PMEs. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Definitely skill issue. Yeah, submission. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, pal. Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. My son took a little longer to sleep today. He wasn't feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Liv. I feel like my son is always sick. Ever since he's been going to like, uh, he's going to like a Montessori program. I feel like ever since we started taking him, he was just always, always getting sick. Ooh, Chansey's coming right down the aisle. Ooh, and Saigon's. Man, this champ pack dropping right here. All right, what do we got? 40s? Ooh, God, brutal 31s. No thanks. Oh, was that an elite down here? No, it was not, but they're up here with archers. So the reason we also want to make sure we're killing elites on P7, as you guys know, I do have one Sunder remaining. It is the Black Cleft, which is the magic one. And the best chance of acquiring that, well, is going to be uh, P7 TZ. So uh, if I can and when in doubt, I always want to try to rock and kill the elites in the highest player count possible. So in a zone like this, obviously, where it's act one, and I, I don't want to say it's like completely non-threatening because as always, I mean, it is still a terrorized zone. So technically, anything could always happen on a bad teleport. I mean, that's all it obviously, unfortunately, takes. Um, but I'm going to always try to kill the elites when I can in these situations because we really need that to complete the grail. And I think the best way of me acquiring that Sunder is, like I said, going to be in these P7 Sunder situations. All right, I want to look at these archers right here, too. I do not want them hitting me through the door and from behind here on the six. And then we're going to go back and get those ghosts. Ooh, man, we have a lot of archers on both sides of the door. All right, he's not cold immune, so he's going to go down faster on P7, which is going to be nice. All right, no pops there, but we will take this. Thank you. Th oh, never mind. Still got one ghost left. Two ghosts left. Obviously, we don't want to risk passing the ghost because we would love to get some high runes. We were 39 and have same reactions, 31s, non. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, guys. We sacrifice the talls. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it now translated over into the ether of the offline grail. That would be fantastic, boys and girls. Ooh, nice little Helen pull rune drop. Okay. Okay, not exactly the high runes that we would love to acquire, but we will definitely take a pull and a hell drop right there. Thank you for that, Countess. Thank you, thank you. It's a very worthy drop. All right. Good shit, Countess. What, what do we have? Oh, we got two minutes left. I'm not even going to bother trying to go down here and speed teleport. We'll stay in this game and see what pops next. 
Dude, I mean, pull runes have value, man. Pull runes have value because we can easily upgrade those into the necessary um runes where we where we need it. Or like I said, we want to make some more hodos or some other noise. So we'll see. All right, let's see. We are back on P. Oh, we got to go back up to P7. Let's get back over to Andy. Like I said, boys and girls, we are going to have terrorized Mephisto in an hour. That is going to be the primary focal point of tonight's Monday night stream. Great to be back after traveling all last week to Los Angeles for work and then with the kiddos for spring break. So I uh, miss you guys, boys and girls. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a wonderful start to the week. Uh, as Liv knows, I'm going to have a little work trip to New York City Thursday and Friday, and then I plan on streaming Saturday night, guys, because Andy, the Mecca, the Queen Bee herself, is going to be terrorized offline. So again, expect another D2R Grail stream on Saturday. Uh, maybe we'll do a potential hybrid with Last Epoch. I would love to keep grinding the Warlock a little bit. But again, we got to prioritize Mephisto. Or sorry, excuse me. We always got to prioritize Andariel anytime she's TZ'd. So she's always going to have some level of preferential treatment in that regard. So yeah, we'll see what Mephisto can drop tonight in due time. And then we will be able to collar that and back that up with some good Andy action. Ooh, Bloodmore and Den of Evil. I actually like doing Bloodmore and Den of Evil a little bit, mainly only because, again, if we want to use the phrase like relatively non-threatening, obviously the undead are cold immune, but everybody else out there is not. So let's go. Yeah, I think sometimes I've done Den and, and stuff on P5 only because it's just easier to get through the cold immunes, but we'll see. Sacrifice amulets to the anime gods. Maybe tall amulet will drop. What's up, Grind? Fast forward to 1700 hours and we're sacrificing our 40th tall Zami to the online gods. Oh, dude, that's right. You did tell me you got Burr off. Uh, that was crazy, dude. I remember reading that from you in the Discord. I think you shared it. I think I, yeah, I think I was traveling. Wasn't it last week? It was last week, right? Yeah, I think when you told me that, I was just like, ooh, man. So, it, ooh, a little SR action there. Let's check that bad boy out. It's either ethereal or it's socketed. Ooh, that hurts. Two socket, 26. Oh, man, really? Where are the elites over here? Oh, I do remember, though, that we do have the two houses here, which is actually nice because you actually do have the chance for two supers in some pop situations. Hmm. Oh, there's the elites. Ooh. Ooh, shit. That's that hurts. That really hurts. Oh, my God. And amped. Oh man, that's why you have a champ pack nested in here with the elite pack and we were amped. No wonder they were hitting so hard. And stone skin and he was cold. Ooh, and I think we have another possessed up here. Yes, we do. Oh wow, so we had two champion quill packs right there. No wonder that shit hurt. That definitely hurt a little bit. That'll do it to you. You had three elite packs right there. That is going to hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Found your Burr, made a 37 Hodo, found Shaco Entals, Emmy. Man, you are on a goddamn heater, Kron. Let's go. Yeah, this is definitely Shady's favorite area, as we know. Good old Corpse Fire. Maybe I'll get the Burr luck. So like we said, right? Um, we desperately need to get a second Burr because while I have to decide if I would make an Infinity, I think I honestly would truthfully prefer to save the two burrs, roll an F4, to, uh, sorry, Chains of Honor to help compensate for the lack of life leech on the tri-stack cure Merc, which honestly is imperative. I think he dies a little bit too much on P7 TZs, even P5 TZs, like he's strong, but it's just really hard to keep up. Oh man, is he cold right now? Ooh, I don't know what's taking so long to kill him on P7. Usually doesn't take him this long. I Oh, that is true. He is natively cold immune, generally speaking, but this is usually why sometimes I'll do him on P5 in this case with orb because it just takes too long. Yeah, it's just taking too long. Fuck it. Not going to sit there and wait. Yeah, we'll probably drop it down to, to P5. And again, we'll, we'll keep rotating in some other zones and areas, but it's just going to go so much faster on P5.
Yeah, yeah. Like we were talking about, man. Like, yeah, you, I mean, you obviously get a very nice resistance boost. Uh, you don't get as much DR as the fade proc, but obviously you make it up with resistance. Uh, it's nice that you have the skill buff, which helps the Merc. So, yeah, it all just kind of like naturally, I think, benefits over time. Oh, okay. Yeah, these guys are all cold, so let's static them down. What is he? Old Enchanted, they're extra fast, but should be fine with the Merc as long as he gets procced with Fade because they do have Blessed Aim. Come on, buddy, proc. Proc that Fade, there you go. Oh, jeez. Blessed Aim hurts. Man, even on P5, these guys just always hard to pack down. I mean, they are level... I mean, what are these guys? They're plus five, so they are 99, these guys. Or excuse me, I think elites... Well, sorry, wait, wait. Champions go to 98. I think bosses and uniques can go up to 99. I know bosses can go to 99, but I think uh, uniques can also go up to 99. So these guys are maxed out, so it's not surprising that their health is going to be a little increased, especially when they are cold immune natively jeez Let's see was there oh yes there was thank you where's the elite oh here it is good old worm hide Oh, man. Look at this. All these little elites packed up here in the corner. Very nice. Oh, man. Lots of elites and no drops. Oh, we got more over here. Oh, man. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, Bloodmore, Bloodmore and Den of Evil, if you include Corpse Fire, it's eight to nine elites. So, I mean, Bloodmore is not a really bad place to be, honestly. I mean, obviously, it's not the elite of elite. But, I mean, shit, dude. Like, there are... In my opinion, I mean, for, for being Act 1 and having the density that it has, it's really not... doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion, for what it deserves. Uh, this is Players 5 Shadow. The first one we went through was Players 7. The reason I lowered it is you you saw how long Corpse Fire took. It just took way too long to get him down, and I feel like he was almost healing because they're level 99. So I really just feel like I had to get him down a little bit on the player count. I mean, players five is even still going to be a bit much. I agree, submission. Like, I just I just think that it's act one area is like, I'll still do Sister's Burial Ground. Like, you guys have seen me do it on stream. Like, especially TZ. I mean, you get to go hit Blood Raven. You got Bone Breaker. You got the two chests. You got to, you know, again, four to five elites per tomb. Or, you know, sorry, you know, per crypt. Excuse me, not tomb. Um, so for me, it's like, yeah, like, why not? Yes, thank you, Liv. Drop those likes, comments. Every bit goes a long way. Always appreciate the call out. Usually it's submission doing that work, but Liv's coming over the top. Thanks, girl. Come on. Come on, Murky Merc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, generally speaking, I agree, Shadow. And, like, if I'm having a Fathom, a Nightwing, if I have any Cold Skillers or eventually the Annie or a Torch, like, yeah, you could definitely be pushing more P7 for Orb. Uh, still would be a little bit slow, uh, but you'd be able to generally get through it, I would agree. Um, yeah, I think the issue really comes in when, yeah, like, it's... it's n I don't have any of the aforementioned, which I don't, I don't have an Iraq, I don't have a Soj on yet. Yeah, that's when it's going to slow down a little bit. So, like, Andy and that stuff, obviously, you, you saw, like, I could clear certain zones in P7s, but, yeah, like, most TZs now, because everybody's going to be completely maxed out at my character level 94 base. Um, where is his coffee live? This guy's thirsty. Oh, coffee donations? <laughs> I know. I usually don't mean to leave leave up that banner for too long. I'll, I'll, I'll take it down right now. I realize that I've had it up for too long. I usually try to remember to turn that off. To not be promoting it too much, you know what I mean? But Kron always comes through on the coffee, so I appreciate that, man. Respect. Respect, brother. 
Yeah, buy me a coffee doesn't have to physically be coffee. It is any, again, direct donation. That is kind of the whole point of it, boys and girls that are tuning in across YouTube and Twitch. You know, a lot of you have asked me to create more of a donation or a direct donation pathway because that is your preferences. And again, thanks to a great community member, Danimal. Uh, I haven't seen him in a minute. I hope he's doing well. Uh, I had heard about buy me a coffee and then he had me look into it more and it was super easy to set up. And again, I get about 95% of the donation and they only keep 5% versus as we know on Twitch and YouTube, they tend to keep a little bit more. But again, like there are things and rewards and kickers that you get from Twitch and YouTube. So obviously I always say that, hey, if somebody wants to directly donate on buy me a coffee, go for it. If they want to be a member or a sub over on Twitch and YouTube, then great, even better, right? Like. It's, it's really less about the donations. Obviously, that, that's a nice piece of it. But for me, it's more about, hey, like, you know, you guys being a part of the, the loyalist, the horde, the berserker following, that's what matters most to me. And, you know, bringing energy, friendship, good content, so. Oh my God, dude, these cold immunes, even on P5. Ruthless. Whoa, okay, there was a shaman in there or not a not a shaman sorry a fallen fallen elite was kind of hiding in there yeah see the lack of uh life leech is always a pain in the ass yeah maybe we'll go down to p3 just because there's just too many cold immunes here and honestly i don't even want to deal with them all Uh, more cold immunes. You know what? I'm just going to go new game and go P3. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's it, it, it's only cold immunes that it's slow. Everybody else, it's honestly fine. And so, like, yeah, that's why I think I'll go down to players three for now to make this a little bit more manageable for all the cold immune situations. So. There we go. Ooh, man. Mephisto cannot come soon enough, boys and girls. Biv, if you're still here, have you guys checked out PTR yet? Because I, I think I know I was traveling, but I saw you and Liv talking in the Discord. So PTR is up. Is that is that the case or not yet with D4? I think it went up. Oh, man. Why you guys got to have the cold immunes? Come on. Oh, yeah, it's pounding them a lot better on P3 here. Tomorrow, PTR is up. Okay, nice. And Liv, I saw you're going to play Barb. And I think I saw that Biv's going to play Necro. Oop. Merc just got clapped. Yep. That's why we got to get that Chains of Honor over on Mr. Merc. Because in a situation like that, especially when it takes longer, there's amp or there's cold immunes or anything like that. This takes too long. Ooh, boots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, almost a Viper Magi. Little conviction action here. And we're amped. But hopefully Cure will reduce the curse length here. Fire Enchanted, so we're going to back up just a tad. All right, let's go get over to Mr. Corpse Fire, Mr. Super Unique himself. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it. Like, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with aiming Frozen Orb and obviously kiting and overlapping like we've done here. You can see what I'm doing here, obviously, the overlapping. Overlapping orbs, because... Now that they've reduced the latency, you can actually overlap your orbs. Oh, man, that is our second Barctix of the evening of this 50-minute stream. Again, the first one was not a Grail find either, but hey, we'll take two Barctix, I suppose. I'll take the RNG. Oh, 
Well, we'll see how this Bartix is relative to the other. D4 Frozen Orb is going to be better than D2 Frozen Orb. Oh, yeah. Why is that, Piv? Let's see. What are we rocking here? What do we got with these two Bartix? So we got a 181 to 159. Ooh, rough. I'm not even going to keep the 159. I'll keep the 181. Because, again, we already have one or two Bartix that are muled. So, yeah, rip. That's right, Shadow. That was a big rip right there. All right, 914, boys and girls. We're going to be hitting 175 hours in the stream tonight. Too bad our boy Nizari couldn't make it. He might be in his beauty sleep right now. He might not have known that I was streaming tonight. Obviously, it's coming off Easter weekend. And since I got my schedule... Oh, Mage Plate. Three socket for an Enigma. Ooh, one socket. Brick. Where's the Elite? Oh, there he is. Running for his dear life. Man, I feel like the Quill Rats always amp me. Always happens with the Quill Rat. Avoid unavoidable. Yeah, I noticed uh I noticed that shadow. I mean, obviously, like I said, even though I was traveling, I you know, you guys know I always try to check in on the community in the Discord and you know. I, I'm always passively analyzing, watching, and lurking as I joking, and I can kind of see when people are online, offline, who's active and active. And I was going to say, Shadow, as much as you were astutely observing my energy levels tonight, I was astutely observing that you were, I like that, disassociated, disconnected, and I could kind of figure you were probably cooking her into something. But I'm happy to hear, man. Glad you're still tinkering with all the Gen AI and, you know, large language models yeah i mean honestly i mean especially in my industry though i mean it, it's going to be imperative for me to even understand how to use a lot of these tools to my own benefit as well Ooh, legendary mallet we do need a shafers man that is a blue legendary, and we had a blue ogre earlier in TZ Countess. Those steel wrens have been elusive, but we've had multiple magic drops on that. The steel wrens, or potential steel wrens, I should say. If you guys are getting bored of uh, any TZ Den of Evil and stuff, by the way, just let me know. We can go power some Andariel runs. Uh, I mean, shit. I mean, ooh, this would have been wicked jab gloves. These almost would have competed with my prior jab gloves if these were plus 220s. But they're passive, and I really have no need for these. And we already have those other two elite jab gloves, so don't really care. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, what, what specifically about the 380, uh, Shadow? Is there some certain kind of component to it relative to a 30, 60, 70, or 30, 90? Nice. What's the 3060 and 3070? Is it eight gigabytes of uh, VRAM? Ooh, 
Ooh, all right. Boys and girls, we sacrificed Kron's tall ammo earlier. You would think, you would think that we'd be getting at least one grail drop tonight, but no dice so far. And we've been hammering a couple TZs. We've done some P7 LKs briefly. We know it was only a couple. Uh, and of course, we've done some Andy runs, but we could certainly do more Andy tonight. I mean, that is what we could honestly shift to, by the way. If you guys want to see me do some Andy runs ahead of Mef, we could certainly do that over the next 30 or so minutes. I don't mind doing that. Don't mind at all. Biv, stop watching March Madness, homie. <laughs> oh my God, Roma. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, dog. Liv, I don't think you noticed that I wasn't wearing my new glasses tonight. I was waiting for somebody to comment. I wore them all day today. I, I just cleaned them. I just put on the reds tonight for the stream. No rhyme or reason. Honestly, I just got done cleaning the, the new glasses and, uh, you know, decided to, to rock the reds. I'm good, man. Just traveling all last week. No time to stream. I actually was trying to finally put out. I didn't put out any uh, content uh, specifically when I say content, like long form content on the YouTube channel in March. And I uh, I was in the middle of a video. I just got crazy busy. And um, so I'm hoping to kind of finally get that out. But I got to go to New York City for work Thursday and this Friday. So we'll see if I can't get it out soon. But I'm going to try to start a little new mini video series. I told a few of the guys in the discord I kind of want to try something and if the quote unquote market responds well to it and you know people like the stuff that I'm putting out and you know the algo latches onto it if, as I always say you know then hey you know that's definitely something that I would consider doing more around but you know still playing a little last epoch when I can you know usually I'm going to try to play last epoch once a week and then obviously D2R is still chasing the grail here as you can see we're 87% progression through so we've made some pretty decent progress uh, but otherwise, life's good, man. Can't complain. Yo, Slib, what's up, homie? Are you just waking up or uh, are you doing a late shift? Well, what, Roma, I know when we first met in Sanctuary, as in D2R Sanctuary, you and I were talking about the mod stuff, but I haven't heard you talk about that in a long time. Um, have you still been working on it passively behind the scenes or it's just now you guys are kind of reinvigorating something? Ah, night shift slip, man. What's good? Ah, you did notice the glasses were missing lib. Okay. Okay. Woo. How are these gloves? Trash. What's up? Reading articles of 3060 have multiple versions. The RTX 3060 has 12 version and 8 VRAM. Okay, got it. I, I forget those shadow. The 3080 that I sent you, was that an RTX? Or no, I guess it wouldn't be if it was 10, right? Just be standard. Nice. Um, Roma, what type of mod are we talking about here specifically? Like, what, what's the, uh, if you don't mind me asking, like, what's the focal point of the mod itself? Is it around balancing? Is it, is there any, like, net new content additions? Like, if you're kind of comparing it to Median or PD2 or any of the mods out there, like, how would you kind of baseline it? I'm actually really curious because, I mean, Roma, I know you've been really obviously busy with D4 stuff and such on the admin side, but... Uh, Nizari, who's in the Discord and usually in the stream, he's part of the original OG Frozen Keep stuff. He's also been working on his mod, Apocalyptic, which is pretty cool. I mean, he showed me videos and stuff. I haven't actively played it yet, but I do plan on playing his mod and giving some exposure to it and stuff. So, um, I was going to say, dude, uh, Roma, I mean, I'm, I'm always happy to support a project that you're working on by all means and give it some always good free organic exposure. So... I mean, if you want to hit me up in the Discord and, um, you know, tell me about what you're working on or give me details on it, man, I'm happy to play it one of these days in the stream, dude, or, you know, make any content around it, man. Just friend to friend, bro. Like, I don't need no handout, man. I'm always happy to support you guys, loyal followers, friends, and fam, man. 
Yeah, dude, I, I would love to. I mean, Nizari's, Nizari's, and I, the name is very befitting, Nizari's mod, apocalyptic, right? And what, it's, it's hard. It's meant to be Diablo the way that it was meant to be played, right? Which is like very strong balancing and hard mode. Like he's got motherfucking monsters in act five with holy freeze and concentration auras on like standard mobs. So I'm pretty excited to at least give Nazari's mod a go when he gives me permission to give it a ride. But um, I was joking that I'm a little terrified to play his mod on hardcore because from the looks of it and what he showed me, it's going to be a doozy. Oh, nice. OK, well, I mean, yeah, if Necrolis is obviously working on it, then I'm sure Niz is, is plugged into it to a degree. Uh, what's it called, uh, Roma? What's up, Iv? You will be able to control the distance orbiting travels. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, the frozen orb in D4, it explodes at the exact area you click on the map. Oh, okay, so the, the AOE effect you can actually control on line of sight. That's really interesting, actually, for D4. Annihilus. Um... So are you guys planning on having like virtual servers so the masses can play? Like, are we are we looking at like a, a, a competing threshold to a PD? I, obviously, it's not it's apples to oranges to compare it to PD2 because that's been around for a minute, obviously. Um, but is that kind of the intent here with you guys and Necrolis and crew? Or I mean, again, obviously, there's always passion projects that I understand, but I'm, I'm just curious how scaled you guys are thinking about oh nice there will be servers damn dude holy shit okay well as i'll jokingly say maybe maybe before it hits the uh wink wink standard t1s to do any uh promotion around it i'm happy to uh give it a go <laughs> yo father sim what's up dog What's up, old man? One old man joins another old man. Ooh, flawed ruby. I actually need this because I think a flawed ruby. Let's go check. Ancient Grimoire. I'm pretty sure flawed ruby. Yes! I have so many falls that I have wanted to roll into a lem rune, and I remembered I need a flawed ruby, and there it is, guys. Thank you to Shadow and Ancient Grimoire. Oh, that's that's right, Roma. You now that I think about it, I think I did ask you what the mod name is, and you did mention that it was Annie or Annihilus, rather, not Annie. You know what I mean? Nice, dude. That's sick, dude. I um, damn, dude, you're gonna catch me on the hardcore Grail, Fatherson. I'm slacking, boy. Good for you, man. I'm happy to heal. Your Grail is still alive and thriving. What's the primary character you're focusing on these days? What what's kind of been your uh, your cup of tea with the Grail, if you will? Yeah, I mean, I I think Shadow, you and I have talked about it. Like, I I played PD two season two, I think it was. And then I remember like Frankie, Frankie Fresh and I, I mean, Frankie Fresh and I don't know each other that well, but he messaged me one time, maybe like six months ago, and he was trying to get me to come over and and, uh, and play PD2 to just to come support. Um, honestly, it's not even like a lack of not wanting to do it. It's just you guys know what I'm about to say. Like my biggest restriction is time as always. And I mean, I'm already trying to play last epoch, finish this grail and Obviously, hey, now there's Annie coming out. There's Apocalyptic eventually with Niz, right? So I want to always give everything the time of day that I can. And so I just think with PD2, like, it's not that I don't want to play it or that I won't ever play it. Just time. Timing is really the issue, really, at the end of the day. I can't do classic graphics anymore. I know, honestly, like, I mean, 
obviously I think with PD2, old 3D Sven Glide Wrapper, I think was implemented. And I think that they actually, um, I forget what Frankie Fresh told me, but I feel like there was something that they did on PD2 season nine, I think that they're on, that it was like HDified to some degree, or it was like 60 FPS. They made some change. Um, I can't remember exactly. Ooh, F Crystal, six socket. That's a nice little six ister right there. Let's go. Oh yeah, let's roll these falls by the way right now. Pop, pop, pop. Good old lem rune. Thank you for the lem rune. I desperately wanted to make some more lems because I think I only have three. Bouncing back and forth between Necro and, and Sork. Can do hell TZs and Necro. I'm running hell Countess over and over. Nice. It's, <laughs> it's like going back to an ex-girlfriend after you upgraded to a younger model. Man, our very own Leonardo DiCaprio over here only dating 25-year-olds. Man, I mean... That's awesome. Uh, I mean, I, like I said, going back to when we first connected, Roma, I did remember that, like, you obviously talked a lot about your passions in the mod space. Um, I just think that we got inundated with playing D2R and then D4 came out. I just feel like we really weren't talking about the mod stuff too much at that point. Um, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Though. I mean, I mean, obviously, any mod where you're working on some frozen keep OGs, man, I mean, not that Frozen Keep are the only people that can create GG mods, but obviously, as we all know, they have existed to consult on the modding community for some time. And so if you are working with the best of the best, well, I have no doubt that it's going to certainly have a quality layer to it. So that is very, very exciting, I suppose, man. Happy to hear, man. So, uh, Roma, sorry, I know you said it. When when do you guys think you're going to release the servers? Or when is it going to go up? Ooh. Oh, I got a little under recovery there. That was not a good teleport. Beta update on April 12th. Damn, okay. All right, I will be around here. I have to go to Miami for work the 15th or the 18th, but... Maybe I will have to check that out before I, uh, I dip. Well, Roma, again, not that I'm looking for any inside baseball or preferential treatment, but dude, feel free to DM me, man. I'm happy to kind of learn more about it. Or if you want me to like stream it or pilot anything, man, just let me know, dude. I'm always happy to obviously I'm close with Nazari through Shadow and not, I don't know Necrolis directly. I think I think Necro knows who I am through Nazari, but like I don't know him, like I said, on a, on a personal direct basis. But obviously, man, the ability to support you, PK, and obviously Nazari through proxy, I would be, you know, more than happy to do that, of course. So all good, man. I know you're going to obviously be really busy with it, but man, if you want to chat about it, man, happy to happy to give that bad boy a whirl. Yeah, Shadow has definitely been helping on some uh, cool stuff for Niz's mod, so. Shadow, not all heroes wear capes, brother. Not all heroes wear capes. Hey, uh, Liv, by the way, uh, I think you would have called it out because you're pretty astute at observations, but is my YouTube counter working tonight? Is it matching loosely what you guys are seeing live? Because I know there was some weird glitch with it, and again, it's a plug-in. It's not mine specifically, but... Let me know if you notice any finicky nature with it, but I mean, seems like it's been working. I've been noticing it moving up and down, which is good before. Like I said, I think when it hit like, um, OK. Yeah, sometimes there's a little bit of a latent lag on it, so I'll pay attention to it. Obviously, if it stays at eight, then I might have to refresh it. I really don't know why it does that. It's really interesting because that uh, counter worked for the longest time. And then I think it was that big stream where I had 22 concurrence on YouTube that night. It got frozen at 15, if I remember. And I just, just and I was wondering, it seemed like it was steady at 15 for a while. And then I remember and you were like, hey, war, you have like 22. Why is it it's stuck at 15? And 
It's like, I have no idea. That was very weird. Yeah, I agree, Shadow. That's what I respect most about Niz and Apocalyptic is the the emphasis on just true balancing. Uh, not that mods don't balance, but I think for Niz specifically, it was just clearly such a primary element for him. And again, from the videos he has shared with me, it's been very, very impressive balancing. know if you showed me the trailer but yeah i mean dude i'll pull it up here on stream i don't mind watching it or you can just send it to me and i'll watch it on the side all right live i'm gonna go give the viewer count let's see what this is saying let's go check it oh interesting yeah see it's it's so interesting live because when i open it like locally on my side it's showing youtube 11 um oh uh, your your son just woke up you have a son right Bib? it's not it's not you don't have a daughter right it's a son uh your your kid i believe it's jesus <laughs> talking too fast there we go i just refreshed it live not sure why it's maybe i have to find a new plugin you know, I really have liked this plugin that fits my aesthetics of cyan color really well. But if that keeps up being glitched, I don't know. I might have to try to do a different plugin. Not sure. Oop. Yeah, you got a permit. Uh, all right. Cool, guys. Let's go uh, over here real quick and go check this uh, bad boy out. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get it loaded real quick. Just going to let the... Oh, wow, dude, 13K views on that. Nice, man, that's some good fucking views. Okay, hold on, we're gonna get over to theater mode. All right, guys, hold on. Okay. All right, let's get the cushy music off. All right, let's 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 take a listen, guys. So again, we are going to look at... Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Ooh, like the speed of this Zahn here. So, Roma, it looks a little sped up in general. Is that because you guys sped through the video to make it faster, or is that actually the speed of the gameplay? It just fe it feels topically a bit faster. Oh, the base gameplay is faster. Okay, cool. All right, so expanded trees. Ooh, hold on one second. I want to take a look at this again real quick. So what, what are you clicking there? Okay, so upgrading reroll items and or remove affixes, evolve uniques and more interesting. Okay, I like that you can remove affixes, it's nice. Okay, transient rift energy. Rerolls a magic item with a new random affix. Okay, that's cool. 
Wow, you can do that on MPs? Fully evolved. Realm of Sin. Asmodan. Okay, so we get another evil. Lesser evil. Oh man, Malathal. All right, dude, this is, this is my, man, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, dude. This is pretty slick. All right, nice. Okay, so you guys have all the lesser evils in here, which is nice. Quality of life changes. What is, so what is that that I just saw? Hold on, let me go back to that. What was that that I just saw? Hold on, I want to go back. Mysterious Rift Energy. Upgrade a normal item to a random rarity. What is this right here? Uh, Roma, can you comment on this? What's this right here? So what? What's the what's the range here, the toggle? What is that shifting? I can't really tell. Item stacking. Oh... Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Nice. Mmm. Okay, okay. Oh. That's cool. Just hold the stack over. Hover over sockets to see their stats and right click to remove. Okay. That's beautiful, obviously. Dude, look at that fucking thing. Grants increased elemental damage. Grants ignore pain. Might aura when equipped. Two to elemental skills. Wow, that's pretty sick. Okay. You rebalanced Templar's might. <laughs> I see you guys are using a little bit of your Da Vinci resolve here for your editing. I recognize a lot of these uh, text and animations. That's what I use. Versatile item filter that you can customize to your liking. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> That's a little crazy, but cool. Nightshades. Okay, so this has more of a last. See, I, I, I like this feature because this is more of last epoch, right? So the obviously last epoch has the same feature, so you can hover over and it pops up, obviously. And then also last epoch has the compare, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is definitely a dope feature. And uh, Shadow reminds me, I have to fix the chat over on this scene, by the way. I know this was when I was only doing non-multicasting. So sorry, guys. We can only see the Twitch chat right now. Um, yeah, this is dope, dude. And yes, Liv, I definitely will have to play this. Oh, the range. Yeah, ranges are key. Obviously, you need the ranges. I love having ranges. That was huge from PD2. I loved having that. Dynamic debuff icons that you can hover over for detailed information. Okay, that's nice. Shows you how much time you have left. Ooh. Rune words work in all rarities with stats that can scale base and rarity type. Oh, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's nice. Ooh, Glad Bane. Let me check this out. Hit recovery is instant. Blocking an attack grants 20% critical strike chance and 50% critical strike damage. Holy shit. Blocking an attack while below 25% life cast. Second win. Okay, that's got to be new. Grants 3% increased area of effect. Increase IS. Damn, dude. That is... You, you, all right, so you kept, you kept the cannot be frozen CBF on Glad Bane, which is nice. You get blocking. Looks like you guys removed the integer stuff, but obviously these are pretty interesting rebalancing here on Gladbane, which obviously is an awesome armor. Oh, yeah. An 11k defense. Jesus, I didn't even see that. That's pretty wild. <laughs> yes. I'm glad that you and Olivia noticed the same thing, and I was so focused on the uh, uh, fixes.
Oh, nice. This is almost, uh... Woo! Nice, dude. All right. All right, dude. <laughs> Wait, where, where was the SOJ? I gotta go back and look at that. I think it was right here, right? Let's see, the SOJ. Okay, you get all elemental resistances, lethal damage. Obviously, some of this is new. You still get the plus one skill. You still get the mana. Oh, man, you guys put XP gain? Wow, that is ridiculous. Lethal damage grants invulnerability for three seconds and fully restores your life. 45... Damn, dude, that's epic. Dude, honestly, this is... uh. Pretty nice, man. Dude, honestly, I, I don't know how I didn't see any content around this, guys. This is a really... This is... Dude, first of all, that was an impressive editing video, first and foremost. No wonder that got 13,000 views. Um, dude, I, I honestly feel like Roma... God, I almost want to do like a content piece around this. I was like blown away just watching that. That was so impressive and polished. Man, yeah. I mean, look, obviously, I would have always loved to play the mod anyways, regardless if it was like affiliated or tangentially affiliated to pk obviously the fact that you guys were going to be making it yourself roma i would have loved to play that but dude good stuff man um thank you for sharing that i'm gonna have to definitely watch that again man that was dope that was awesome all right guys we're gonna get back over now to the grail stream we got tz math coming in 15 minutes thank you to roma for sharing that amazing analysis mod that looks like it's finally going to be coming according to roma necrolis and co should have a beta coming out on april 12th and if all goes well they'll have servers around the world as he said for those tuning in on youtube if you were wondering what the hell that just was that was a new d2 mod that is being worked on by uh, a good friend and loyal supporter roma Good old admin over in the D4 Sanctuary Discord. And uh, hot damn, dude. That was my, I feel like my mind is frozen from just watching that. That was, that was pretty, pretty epic. Um, <laughs> thank you, Liv, for that constant reminder. Yeah, big hype, big hype, big hype. Dude, big hype indeed, man. All right, so let's see what we were doing. Yeah, all right, you know what? Let's go do some P7 Andy guys for the next 15 minutes before we get TZ math, which is that's that's the highlight of the stream tonight. That's what everyone is here to see as we try to find some grail finds tonight. We have not found any grail drops yet tonight. Not to be completely unexpected, we have hit a bunch of different TZ rotations, but obviously you get this point in the grail. Sometimes things are going to go slow, but obviously as we make our way into P7 Mephisto, no, sorry, not P7. TZ Mephisto completely maxed out. We will be doing him on P5 because as I always talk about on my streams, a lot of people forget you do not ever want to do Mephisto over players five as he is completely maxed out already on his no drop. And so it is quite literally pointless to do Mephisto on P7. You are only increasing his damage towards you and of course, increasing his health. So why inflict pain, boys and girls? Don't ever do Mephisto over players five, because that's all you need. <laughs> Sean, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Thrawn is here for the big time drops. For those that missed it, I'm going to have to make it into a YouTube short, probably. Our friend here, Mr. Kron, gave me his Tall's Ami on Hardcore that he just found. And earlier in the stream, I logged on to my seasonal Hardcore character and we sacrificed it live to Geeds. And the reason we sacrificed this live to Geeds is because we are 175. Oh shit, my Merc just got clapped. Don't know how that happened fast and I wasn't able to static fast. Let's go get him re-upped quick. Um, because we still haven't found Tall's Ami in 175 uh, hours and 18 minutes. So we had to sacrifice that live on stream so we can get blessed by the RNG gods here. Wow, that was actually really weird. He got clapped super fast there. I was surprised. I think he just got procced with Amperly quickly and I wasn't able to get a hit off and he didn't have fade proc from Treachery. I think it was just game over at that point. Oh, we did get a ring, but it's rare. Flying Mace, pretty sure we already have this. What is it, Flying Crusher or Sure Shell Frost? How is the ring? Nope. Not interested. Anything down here? Nope, nope, nope. But we'll take the full juve. Sean, I hope you're doing well. Been a minute since I've C 
seeing you. Happy Monday or happy Tuesday or actually no, never mind. I was going to say actually no for those Europeans. Sorry for those Europeans like Sliv still tuning in. It is technically Tuesday across the pond. Happy Tuesday morning to you early birds getting the worm over there across the pond tuning in to War of the Wise. Been a minute. Missed you guys. Wasn't around to stream last week. I was traveling to L.A. But we are here. We will be streaming also Saturday because our girl, the queen herself, as we said earlier, she will be terrorized offline Saturday, thanks to Mysterio's D2 emulator site, as always. So we are planning on doing another stream on Saturday. We will be doing TZ Andy, because why not? We want to double dip into that TC87 plus treasure class, just like we are going to be able to double dip into Mephisto tonight. This is Rockstopper, or Rock Fleece. This is Venom Ward. We don't need Venom. That's Saigons. We don't need that. We really don't need the Ort Rune either at this point. But I will check the claw because, well, why not? I don't really care, actually. Oh, damn. We don't like to see that. 98 Hardcore Zon died two bars away from 99. Ooh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try not to be mean on stream. Everybody knows my patented saying, your deeds of valor shall not be remembered. But man, that's a major oof. Yeah, that's that that's a that's a major oof right there, dude. We're going to do the we're going to do the big rip. Oop. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I was literally just going to tell Kron to gift you a membership to my channel if he was willing to do so for for being uh <laughs> insert the got him gift right now. Got him. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> got these nuts. Whoa. Whoa. That was weird. Wow, that almost uh, killed me right there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but my mouse was like completely stuck at the top of the screen. That was semi-frightening. Dude, yeah, like Shadow, that wasn't even me. My mouse like got stuck at the top of the screen and like didn't move. And I was like, woo. Sean almost got a gifted membership to War of the Wise. Speaking of which, dude. I was telling you guys about YouTube and how they basically released that feature where I could basically start to gift out subs or sorry, YouTube memberships like up to 10 a month and it would basically repeat. And there was the whole shenanigans basically where somehow when I set up my channel, I set up my channel as a brand channel, as an extension of my personal email, as opposed to like a distinct call it creator account. And they were basically like, oh, sorry, War, we didn't roll this feature out yet to brand channels, but you are technically eligible as part of the YouTube partner program. And I'm like, wait, wait, so let me get this straight. So you emailed me multiple times telling me that I can start to give 10 gifted YouTube memberships a month to promote my channel. I meet all the requirements. I am in the YouTube partner program, but because I am a quote unquote brand channel, you are restricting me from gifted memberships. Cool. Thanks for the talk. See you out there. Fucking YouTube, man. They can be completely illogical and asinine, dude. It's the dumbest shit. Yeah, when I talk, when I talked to a manager or I like got into like the creator Q pipeline for partners, it was the most ridiculous shit. I'm like, cool. So I can't give away free memberships because I'm a brand channel. Isn't that the whole point? A creator channel is a brand channel. What is the delineation and distinction between a brand channel and a fucking creator channel? They are literally one and the same. Are you not your personal brand as a creator? Yeah, li literally. And then they were like, oh, don't worry, War. We're going to be rolling it out and extending it out to brand channels soon. And I'm like, mind you, that was like months ago. And I've heard nothing from them on that. But that'll be really cool because obviously like the fact that I can basically give up to 10 free YouTube memberships away, obviously get you guys access to emotes, get you guys custom discord ranks. If you join the discord, um, obviously being able to give you the badge next to the name, like that's all fun, man. So obviously there is still always value in doing that, right? So <laughs> yeah, YouTube and their policies can be kind of yikes. Yes. But you know what? Mr. Kron here himself and Brad, when he's able to join the stream, those two duke it out for the number one pedestal king of gifting out memberships to my channel. So 
Thankfully, we have great, wonderful members like Kron and like Brad and others who love to gift stuff out to the community here on my stream. So even though I can't actively do it directly for free, we got some great community love up in here. So we're all good in the end. We are made whole thanks to these boys and girls. Oh, what do we got? Uh, rattle cage. And oh, an F gold. But it's junk. How's the LK? Don't need any of this. That was only a large charm. Don't really care about large charms. Ooh, okay, Mephisto in six minutes. Here we go. We got to get locked and dialed in. The hour is upon us, boys and girls. TZ Math is coming. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, let's go get some ID scrolls real quick. All right, all right, all right. Yo, calm down. What's good? Dude, strange night tonight. Found my fourth sir to make infinity, but the infinity rolled 45. Oof. Yeah, that's that's a brick. Obviously, that's a major oof because I'm assuming you were going for self wield in that case for Nova. So ideally, I think that's the low roll, right? Isn't it 45 to 55 calm? I mean, honestly, dude, you got to look at the bright side. You now have an infinity, right? So obviously it, it could be worse, as they would say, right? So I always try to look at the bright side in any situation. 45 is a brick, but it's an infinity. And I uh, speaking of Sir Rune, I still need a Sir Rune for my grail. We have not found a Sir. Uh, I will take the flawless amethyst there. Uh, let's check out the claw. Uh, don't. Pretty sure I don't need rite of passage boost right now. Um, I would say it depends, right? Like, obviously, you. Like it, it's basically like two less, like let's say you have perfect 5% facets. It's two facets, right? In that sense. So like you're probably going to have a facet in your Griffin anyways, but you could argue if you had a 55, maybe you wouldn't have a facet in your Griffin. You could put something else in there, right? It just gives you optionality. So. Oh, look at the big boy coming in. Kron, you didn't have to do that, but Jacob Shepard, Nathan Martin, Scott M. Pence, and Alvin, and a Cougar Hunter. Great last name there, dude. A Cougar Hunter coming in, dude. Thank you, Kron, for those five gifted memberships over on YouTube. Welcome to the Horde, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, Kron, man. Scott M. Pence. Yeah, we have, you know what's so funny? I don't, I don't think Scott has been here in a minute, and I think he's gotten two or three gifted memberships. I think Scott was here for a little bit, and that was when we had a little bit of that weird thing with Comcast where my stream quality was really struggling. Um, and again, it wasn't really anything to do with me, as we know. It was really Comcast. So hopefully we see Scott back. It's been a minute. But Scott, you got another gifted sub to my channel from Kron. So welcome, welcome. Butchers, people. Good old classic. Thank you for the flawless. What's up, Com? Got any advice in finding a Griffins? <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, from a Griffin perspective, right? Obviously, you like use the drop calculators. I would definitely suggest using Nishis, uh, which is, in my opinion, the number one drop calculator on the market. I also did a video on my YouTube channel that you may have seen. I do a thorough review of his drop calculator. But obviously, when you do when you do TZs, right? Obviously, from a Terror Zone perspective, you can find. Um, TZ's, uh, sorry, what's up, Shadow? Oh, uh, you gotta go, buddy? All right, man. Thanks for tuning in, Shadow, man. It was good to see you, homie. I'll catch you in the Discord tomorrow, brother. But yeah, calm. I would just focus on TZ areas, right? Because obviously, you know, you can do areas that are TZ that you wouldn't normally be eligible to drop a Griffin. And obviously, you can up-level those. Like, so for example, right? Like, Diablo non-TZ can't drop a Griffin, right? Um, but obviously if chaos is TZ and you're the appropriate character base level, well, now he's eligible to drop a Griffin, right? Um, but like, honestly, at the end of the day, the, the one, two dominant punch is Mephisto and Andy, 
When Mephisto and Andy are TZ, they are truly unstoppable, assuming that you're as long as your character level 91 or greater and you're double dipping into treasure class 87 plus, which is the double look into weapon armor 87. I mean, you're pretty golden at that point. I mean, like, put it this way. I, I have found two Griffins on my Grail so far and what I'm 175 hours in. So obviously a lot of that time was leveling characters. I also died twice on two other Sorks. So it's not that it truly took me 175 hours to find the two Griffins, because obviously for a big chunk of my Grail time, I wasn't eligible to even find or in the position to roll the Griffin. So I would just say, yeah, dude, two Griffins like that. Think, think about that. I have two Griffins. I don't have a Vamp Gaze yet on this Grail. I don't have a Lenny Mosash. I don't have an Ariat's Face Helm yet. I don't have a fucking Tall's Ami yet. I have a Zod Rune, dude. I have two Burr, sorry, I have a Burr Rune. I have three Vex Runes. I have the Ohm. The list goes on. I have every 87 Helm in the game, literally. And I don't have those aforementioned items. So that's the crazy thing about this, dude. Yeah, I mean, obviously Lenny makes sense for sure. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch because it's like TC3 or TC5, right? Um, but yeah, when when you, oh, TZ Meph is coming up. We got to get moving. But yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. When you look at the fact that I'm 87% and those are the types of items that I still need. Obviously, I need Fathom, Death's Web. I still need, of course, Mangs. I need Tyrials. I get that. Um, but the reality is I have so many 87 items already and I have the Zod Rune. Uh, I still need Cham Rune, but I've made such good progress on the Grail for 175 hours in. So the way that I basically look at it is like, I'll probably be pretty good to go. Like if, if we're being real here, like the reality is if I can find some items and in the not too distant future, we're going to be in a really, really good position. So, all right, guys, let's kick off Mephisto. He just got TZ'd. It is go time. <laughs> I am 87, dude, and I do feel like an old man. What's up, brother? Good to see you, Locky. Terrorized Mephisto just kicked off. So we are going on over. So we have been streaming. Well, we took a little bit of a break from the stream, obviously, because we were watching the Annihilus, uh, Annihilus mod that Roma shared. So we'll have to see what happens here. But we would love to get a Grail find tonight. Let's see if Mephisto can't make that happen over this next hour. I hope you're doing well, Lockie. Happy Tuesday across the world in Australia. Oh, starting it with the GC. Ah, it's a cold rupture and it's a 76. And I don't need cold ruptures because I have two 71s mule that I'm already using a 71. Oh, I will check those jabs though. 640s, 640s. Nope. Ooh, new phone. Nice. <laughs> Dude, honestly, getting getting a new phone is the best, obviously, because you can refresh the ranks on your videos and your pictures. You can put them up in the cloud, upgrade that tech, man. Upgrade that board tech. No, you're definitely you're you're, you're right, Roma. Uh, Lenny, Lenny can be tricky, but I always joke, though, because I find so many goddamn night smokes and I'm pretty sure that night smoke is probably in the same treasure class as a Lenny, right? And so the fact that, I mean, Niz has been watching a bunch of my Grail streams and we joke all the time. I've probably dropped anywhere from like five to seven night smokes over the last month, but yet I haven't dropped a single Lenny, right? So it is a bit bizarre how RNG obviously works, dude. Ooh, nice. Is that a Samsung? The S24, is that what that is? The Samsung? Okay, I mean that that definitely would make sense. But to but to put it in perspective, though, right? Like, it's cascading down that far, my drops, right? So it, it is cascading. Ooh, nice water walks. Not a grail find though. Oh my god, that is a brick. Fifty life. That sucks. What's the cedar? Chromatic ire. I don't need that. Razor rip hook. I already have. Damn, that's too bad. And we got a sacred targe too. Damn, that was a decent drop from Meph. We just don't need this. The waters are horrible at 50, but I think that actually only might be my second pair of water walks, actually. So I'll put those on a leveling character that I'm going to make. So I will keep those water walks for the sake of just having a secondary copy. 
It could technically be my third, maybe, but I think that might only be my second water walk there. All right. Well, that was ugly looking, but honestly, not a bad drop velocity from Terrorize Mephisto. No, I mean, honestly, Liv, I will say this. Obviously, you and Biv always give great updates in the Discord, and you guys are still playing D4 actively. And obviously, I think that the changes they made were certainly in the right direction. And so I would say that, like, I've always said it, like, I was never fully giving up on D4. I just wanted to wait for Season 4 specifically. So if they can definitely deliver and the feedback is positive, then I certainly would give it a go. Obviously, I've fallen in love with Last Epoch as well. So balancing Last Epoch with D4, um, yeah, it gets a little tough, but you know, I, I don't see why I wouldn't check out season four. I only ever played bar of, of like the 60 to 80 hours that I put in. I only ever played the Barb. So it also might be a chance for me to finally play somebody else. That's probably what I would do, honestly. If I was gonna play, I would just play another character just to kind of get a different experience from that perspective. Um, Ooh, look at this little cutie here. Heart of the Wolverine, Carrion Vine, and two to Fissure. 15 ED, three socket. But never going to really play a Druid pretty much at all on this Grail. So as cool as that is, not fucking with it. Yeah, it's kind of what I was saying before about the mods to Roma, right? It's like, it's just, it's so hard to find time to juggle life as is. And so... I have to be very selective about like what I play and when I play. So what's up, Roma? I played Rogue Sork and Barb to Endgame now. Rogue was the most fun for me. Yeah, I mean, look, obviously like Lucky Luciano, I know, you know, he makes great rogue guides. Obviously that's his power, power character. And so I feel like if I was going to go rogue, I would just check out some of Lucky stuff and, you know, read up and watch videos and be pretty well equipped to see what I can, you know, delete and combust off of Sanctuary. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see myself wanting to play Sork. I mean, Biv was obviously talking about Frozen Orb. I mean, I'm always a Frozen Orb fan, clearly in general. So I would say from a Frozen Orb perspective, I would definitely be willing to check that out on the Frozen Orb side of the house. Come on, Maf. Come on, Maf. Come on. Uh, I don't really need your essences, but sure. I'll take two more yellows. Ooh, man, that was a Slayer Guard out of the rack. That is exactly what we need for Ariats, but we did not <laughs> jokingly roll that into a uh, unique. Close. Close, close, close. Sliv, you still here uh, lurking, brother? How's that night shift going? Submission, what's good with you, homie? Fatherson. Sean. All as well. Oop. That a boy. It's calm. It's calm. We like calm, dude. Channel that inner calm, Sliv. Channel that inner calm, dude. Lurk city, lurk city. Dude, lurk away, boys and girls. That's part of the battle of streaming. Ooh, war belt. Tea gods. Not a grail item, but I'm pretty sure that's that might actually be my true second tea gods. So I will gladly rock a second tea gods. So you guys know me. I like my duplicate triple copies. So we will take that tea gods. Thank you. We got the water walks with the tea gods. We got the Bartics. Again, probably ah, not to say that I wouldn't ever make an MA sin, or if I was to ever make a sin and progress through Mosaic on the Grail, it's definitely possible that I would do that. In that case, it's nice to have the dual Bartics, which we now have. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's 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 always OP to your point, and so 
and especially eventually going over to Ubers in a future state, right? It's going to be a function of what character I end up doing them with. Obviously, I've already started leveling a DIN, by the way, um, to get ready for D clone and Ubers. And so, you know, he will obviously have T gods on for obvious reason, most likely. Um, I know that I don't have to go the T gods route, but that's most likely what I'm probably going to do. Oh, great. We have an extra fast elite pack here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be rough, dude. Jeez, I, I got to try to pull meth. Yeah, this is gnarly. I got to try to pull meth. They're extra fast. They're cold immune. Ooh, Bastard Sword, Nat's Armor. Pretty sure it's Cloud, Black Tongue, and I already have Nat's Armor. I think I have full set. Oh, Juanans. Never mind. Sorry. But I already have the full Juanans, and I have full Nats, actually, now that I think about it in my memory. So, all good. <laughs> what? What'd you just retract, Kron, by the way? I see message retracted. Was that you? Oh, you retracted something. Running T Gods, Dwarf, and Raven on your Foden. Nice, dude. I mean, honestly, it's always a very safe and healthy combination, so there is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, to be clear, I was talking about uh, T-Gods for uh, Ubers, yep. D-Clone, I would just go in there with a string of ears or Verdungos in a perfect world. I mean, honestly, even from an Ubers perspective, I don't mind wearing string of ears or Verdungos. I mean, obviously, you want to get the 300 light res ideally as it relates to mephisto um and obviously any level of absorb is always a plus with him so um yeah usually i feel like it's t gods for ubers but yeah clone you just fucking slap i mean you could roll up there in a black and that's probably what i'm gonna end up doing like i'll probably just get my smiter to 75 and then I'll just roll him a black and I pretty much have all the general smiting gear that I would require. And so at that point, I feel like I'd be good to go. And then, I mean, not on Ubers yet. I mean, honestly, the the torch is probably, ooh, Ghost Glaive, do I need this? I don't think so. Wraith Flight, I already have that, too bad. Skewer, I don't need the splint. I'll take the magic ants though. Yep, that's exactly what I do, uh, Roma. I love to pull meth out, and honestly, I do have a tap wand. So, you know, if I can get tap on meth, I usually just go over to res lightning, to your point, not even salve. Just fire up res lightning, have the T-Gods on, pound them down. And then to your point, yep, I'll usually swap out the belt, yep, for the rest of the way. You and I, you and I play the same process. I mean, I know it's pretty... Eh, I don't want to say it's common knowledge to pull Mephisto out as, like, the optimal framework for Ubers, but yeah, I mean... That is usually the preferred route that I also like to go. So, yeah, I mean, if we can get away with it, that's what I'll do. Pull Mephi out. And I have a great tap one that I found with like 150 charges, by the way, which is crazy. It's really funny. I, I, I wasn't even really trying to pick up magic wands, but I realized I needed to get a tap one. And one of these days, and maybe it was like two months ago on one of my streams, I'm like, oh, fuck it. Let me pick up this wand and it has like literally an astronomical amount of charges. It's like 150 tap charges, which is crazy. It's unusual to have that many charges. Definitely not the norm. So to be honest, like a lot of times I'll just kind of go just south. Right. And usually you, you can pull him enough if you're if you kind of know what you're doing and you're you're careful about it. Ooh, Sasabis. But already have Sasabis. What's the amulet here? Necromancer. It's trash. Don't really care about that. So like usually here, if we're if we're assuming that this is the Uber portal right here, a lot of times I'll just go here and then boom, pop out because he'll usually rush up pretty quick which still allows me to get the cast off and then switch over to res lightning. But yeah, I mean, the, I've done the West. Honestly, just Ubers for me, Roma, it's been a minute, bro. So, I mean, if I'm being honest, like 
I'm going to really probably need like a practice run again, just because it's been so long since I've done Uber. So I would probably do it on one of my online characters, because to be honest, like if one of my online characters was to rip on non ladder, I really wouldn't give a shit at that point. Um, so for me, it's like, yeah, if I, you know, I, I usually can solo Ubers and I used to do tourist running all the time. It's just it's admittedly been a minute. So obviously I got to get some practice reps in for the grail, but that's probably why I'm going to make the torch probably one of the final items that I do. The the Annie, I won't wait because the Annie's the Annie. That's straightforward. I mean, D-Clone is relatively straightforward to pack down. But the Ubers, like I said, like I don't think I would really want to risk losing anything major on Ubers. You know, I just don't think it's worth it because again, the torch is the torch. Like. You don't even know if you're going to get the right torch that you want. And I get it. It still is going to give me plus resistances. It's still going to give me slotted, you know, stats. But like, oh, yeah, yeah. I 100% agree with you. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait if I'm going to do it. plague and yeah we don't need soul harvest oh we're all rune thank you for that appreciate that pop the lorricated mail that's what we needed that's nats yeah honestly i'll have to watch videos again because it's just been a minute but that that probably is the right thing to do oh excuse me Roma, what's good though? How's the um <clears throat> how's the restaurant business? It's been good. Obviously you said you're working on the uh the mod, so I imagine it's been probably keeping you pretty busy on top of uh real life, plus modding the sanctuary server. <laughs> Fatherson, any good drops off Mephisto yet, brother? <clears throat> any grail drops for you? Since I know you're running uh, meth offline with me concurrently as well. Yeah, we're both getting skunked here, brother. Oh my god, spider web. Dude, honestly, you know what has been equally as elusive as Tall's has been a fucking Iraq belt because the amount of magic spider web sashes I roll is fucking sickening. Really pisses me off, dude. Kills me every fucking time. Like part of part of me literally dies. Literally dies when I fucking see a magic spider web sash in the ground. Horrible. It just doesn't want to drop. Just magics all day. All day. I cannot seem to hit the RNG sequence into a unique variant. Doesn't want to land. But that's the thing too, like, I mean, honestly, now that I've respect my Sork, like Tall's Ami aside, like the Iraq actually really opens up my build because it allows me to put on the SOJ I found or I can go slot in the Wisp which it's a, it's a solid like 15, 17 wisp. So it's definitely something that I would wear. Um, nope. We were just both joking how we've been getting skunked from TZ Meth, Olivia. You didn't miss much. Yeah, I know. Honestly, I should start picking those up, actually, Roma, so I can see that it's failed rolls. <laughs> What's the feral here? Oh, we did get our first grail fine. I did wonder if fire lizards I needed and boom, it just went off. There it is across the top, boys and girls. We made it. We got a grail fine tonight. You guys know what I said earlier. Hopefully meth would deliver. Boom, boom, boom. 
All right. First grail find of the night. Fire lizards. Let's go. Um, bang a rang, baby. Uh, are you talking about just the, the view count live? So it's saying 15 on stream and it's uh, relatively in line. Uh, yes, Roma just helped you out, Com. He is correct. Nice. Thank you, Liv. Yeah, attack speed is not going to impact Aura. The one thing is with Conviction, right? Um, there are going to be situations where you have Conviction and monsters have Conviction. I mean, there's obviously some write-ups on this, but basically, right, if you have a higher Conviction, then yours will basically overtake and compensate over the elites or the monsters. That won't happen with Mephisto, because, or rather Uber Mephisto, because I think his is level 20. So you're not going to be able to cancel out his <clears throat> conviction, but obviously other elites that have lower level, you can. Which is a plus. Yeah, we got some great viewerships tonight. Thank you all tuning in over on YouTube. Always appreciate you guys supporting the content, being here on the stream and having a good time with us. As always, by the way, if you guys want to see my gear that I am wearing, I have a Max Roll Planner link. You can do exclamation gear into the chat. You can also do exclamation grail, and that will pull up my most relatively up to date grail tracker. The one on my screen is automated. I manually update it after the stream, so it is going to be missing the fire lizard tonight, but it gives you an idea of where I am in the grail progress. And as I always like to say, I have a wonderful discord community exclamation discord. If you guys want to join, you guys are always welcome to participate. A lot of people that are here on the streams are actively there in my discord community. So it is a great way for us to keep in touch on a more manual real time basis. What's up, Tony? Good to see you, man, again. Been a minute. Happy Monday. Great to see you in the stream, brother. Happy official April. Happy April's Fools. Rare Archon staff. Ooh, that's a kick to the nuts, brother. Godspeed. I hope you don't have uh, nightmare fuel tonight. That's a rough one, Kron. Uh, not Kron. Fatherson. That's rough. Come on, Mephisto. Come on, Meph. Speaking of belts, we did not get the Lenny, but we got the Juanans, but pretty sure we have our Hazaros. Never mind. Uh, Worm Skull, we don't need this. I will check the pelt. Not the pelt, excuse me, the primal. Jesus Christ, no, it was a pelt. Can't talk tonight. It was right the first time. That was a pelt, not a primal. Oh, you put it in a trident? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're going to go self wield on a Nova, I would say, obviously, like a Scythe. Anything like that or ethereal if you want to go style points. I mean, obviously, the benefit of the ethereal is if you ever want to put it on the mercenary, you can do that. But obviously, if you're already putting it in that style of self wield anyways, it's not going to be really beneficial for a merc in general. So um, there's not really much that you have to worry about from that perspective. But. All right. We are 22 minutes into Terrorize Mephisto. We did get a second copy of Water Walks. We did get a second copy of T-Gods. And of course, as I just saw, or as you guys just saw a few runs ago, we got our first Grail find of the night, the Fire Lizard's Claw. About time on that. So we are at 87% still, but we are at 474 on items acquired. We are closing in. Yo, Nicky boy coming in probably from work. He's hitting me with a <laughs> with a hydrate. I'm oh, speaking of another spiderweb sash. There it is. 
Another magic spider web sash, Roma. Let's check that one on the durability. Because why not? Let's just enjoy pain. <laughs> I am out of a beverage. Let's see. Uh, durability is 12. Okay, so this was not a failed roll. Because that was a standard durability, so. Ooh, what do we got here? Nope. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Nikki wants me to get a beverage. He knows that I usually like to do that on stream. We are going to get right back to Mephisto. Be right back. Yo, 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 cheers to you, man. Here's that hydrate redeemed over on Twitch. Happy Monday. Happy April's Fool, Nick. Cheers, brother. Woo. Delicious and nutritious. All right, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. All right, guys, I am feeling pretty positive that we are going to get a, another Grail drop from Mephisto tonight, especially because we sacrificed the Tall's Ami to the gods online. We sold a Tall's Amulet to Geeds. Many of you missed it earlier. Our boy Kron here over on Hardcore Season 6 decided to, out of his good graces, allow me on stream to sell his Tall's Ami to Geeds to sacrifice it in hopes of willing my own Tall's into existence here offline as part of the Grail process. Am I leaving? What are you talking about? Well, no, I'm saying that Mephisto has another 35 minutes. So I'm saying I hope that we find another Grail item tonight from him specifically. That's what I meant. All right. A bunch of rares that I don't care about. Thank you, Mef. But you always got to pop the weapon racks, guys, because the weapon racks do scale with the area level increases from TZ. So even though it's hard to flip a unique from a rack, you always, always want to hit those, especially when terrorized in Mephisto for that reason. <laughs> ah, you were distracted by the goodness of donuts. No, 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 no. I was just saying what up to Nick. Just grabbed a beer because he hydrated me over on Twitch. So I was redeeming his hydrate in good fashion brother to brother man i mean as much as i'm loving the chill jams tonight maybe we got to put on some metal here for nikki and that'll bring us some good rng luck guys maybe we got we maybe we got to put on the the metal station over on uh epidemic dude yeah roma i so you've been in a lot of my streams before man these guys love to used to take advantage of me pretty heavily over on twitch um I can't, I can't play. Um, remember, I can't play Spotify and YouTube, brother. That's why I don't play Spotify anymore. Because YouTube will copyright me. So now that I'm multicasting, I can't play over on uh, YouTube, unfortunately. That's why I use Epidemic. Which, by the way, honestly, Epidemic is a good uh, royalty-free. But it's not something that they have, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I put a restriction on it, though, Roma. I can't remember if I put it like how many drink redeems per night or it was like per person. But I basically put a little bit of guardrails on it for my own sanity and survival. Um, all right, here, we're going to switch up the music a little bit, guys, because I'm getting my D2 superstition here a little bit, guys, if I'm being honest. So here, we're going to go over to metal. Let's switch it up here. All right, we're going to switch it up, dude. Let's go. All right, guys, we're switching up the music for the rest of Mephisto. We're going to try to wheel some RNG into existence. Let's get back to my metal roots. Let's do it. But on a serious note, it's whack, dude. I have like, well, the thing was right, like 
It took me a long time to set up my virtual audio cables, not because I didn't know how to do it. I was just lazy about doing VACs over on Twitch, which is what most streamers do, right? Which allows me to audio mix out the um, the music so I don't get copyrighted. So you guys would hear it live on stream, which Twitch allows, and then I would just remove it from the VOD. The difference is YouTube's capabilities are far superior for copywriting. So even if I tried to audio mix it out on a VOD, they will literally copyright me midstream and I'll get nuked with requests. I lose monetization. It gets it gets muted, right? It's like you don't want any of that on YouTube. So uh, fortunately, I have great royalty free stuff over from Epidemic, which is really nice. Um, I don't need IK gloves, right? Nope. Ooh, nice. That was a cute little pop there. Nice little reverb. But honestly, I'm I'm pretty impressed with what Epidemic has from a royalty kind of Rolodex. Man, they got some good stuff over there. I mean, I've been using it for a while on my streams. So, I can't complain, man. The music is pretty good with what they have. How's this GC? Trash. Good old trash. Nick, the wedding is coming up for you, isn't it? I feel like it's been a minute since you and I have talked about it, but am I crazy or, or is it in the fall? I think you guys might have said you've been planning for it a while away, but or it's oh, 2026. Oh, shit. Why did I think it was this year? Because I'm clearly delusional. Or did you guys get engaged this year? And that's what it was. I don't know. Not, sorry, I know we just hit 2024. I feel like it was the end of 23. I feel like you and I were talking about it. Or maybe it was the top of this year, but. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. I knew we were talking about something last year. And I'm like, why am I going crazy? There we go. Oh, ooh, ooh, Kron, we have a set Ami, big boy. This is our second worm skull off meth. Boys and girls, you guys know what we like to do. I just found a set amulet off Terrorized Mephisto. Everybody over on Twitch and YouTube, please, please get your votes in the chat. I want to see what you guys think it is. Let's zoom in here to the fires of the Pandemonium Fortress. We have the sun. Is it a telling of beads? Is it a cyberbs of a Dallas? The angelics or is it a talls? We've been saying talls for a long, long time here on stream, boys and girls, and we have not been lucky, but we sold the talls tonight. It's got to be talls. It's got to be talls. Ooh, Arcana. That's a good one, Roma. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Are we going to hit the grail? Are we going to finally hit the talls? Mm -hmm. Nope. Fucking bricked once again. <laughs> well, don't worry, Sean. It was not the unfortunate Angelic. So they huge brick and a half. Yeah, we're going to hit a big F in chat right there, dude. Fucking brutality, man. Kron, Kron feels for me, dude. <laughs> Kron is going to keep buying me coffees and beer because he feels for me. He He's concerned for my mental state. <laughs> oh man oh man I love that this has become a fucking meme this is literally meme worthy shit on my stream here cancel culture bro fucking the game's canceling me F's in the chat, baby. F's in the chat. Big F's. Small PP energy right there, guys. Small PP energy. Oh my god. Honestly, I feel like one of these days, I think it was Kron's idea. Like, I'm going to start collecting all the set Amis that we basically get, and we're just going to have an ID stream. Literally just going to have an ID stream. Little dual leech action, how these boots, no dice. 
We're going to basically keep... I mean, may maybe what we'll do is when we... I mean, it's not like I'm getting set amis that frequently. But I feel like between cows or Andy or Meph or anything like that, like, we'll just collect all of the set amis. And then we'll just do an ID stream. I feel like that's the most appropriate thing to do, considering what's been going on. All right, let's re-up the HPs and get back at it. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that is true. I definitely got to do the Iron Mans on stream. We got to get those Iron Mans going. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to definitely get the Iron Man going on my stream. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. We got to do that one of these days for sure. Thanks for reminding me, Kron. And yes, Roma, I do like your idea. It probably does make sense to do that. More of a, yeah, an ID jewelry stream because it'll definitely go faster. I do agree on that one. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I wanted to do more Iron Mans on stream just for fun, and I feel like it got away from me. And then, yeah, Kron and I were talking about it. They're like, oh, it'd be fun for me to host him. Because what's really cool about it is, like, I'll just go out in the Blood Moor, basically, with a character that's, you know, lower than level 9. And then that way I can stand in the center of the fights and then broadcast it live on stream. And we can do somewhat of a, you know, we'll, we'll do Iron Man brackets, which will be fun. Iron Man brackets are always a good time. Actually, that's a good point. What is the flawless? Flawed Amethyst? Is that what it is? Oh, actually, you know what? I might want to roll my lem my lums up to a co, so... Yeah, I might actually keep that for Rune Mule. <clears throat> or Gem Mule, rather. Nick, hopefully this music is uh, better for your ears, homie. Look at this, man. I roll out the red carpet, man. Nick wants a beer, he gets a beer. He wants metal, he gets metal. He gets what he wants, man. Day one hardcore homie gets what he wants. Brother from another mother. Nick and I have very similar taste in music, which I very much appreciate about Nick. We always get to share our golden finds listening to Octane. The Biggins over on Sirius XM Radio. Oh, what is Ariox Needle? And it's a plus two, not even a plus four. Trash. But it wasn't a grail find anyways, and I don't really need additional copies of Ariox. I have no intention of really using it. What's up? On Annihilus, we have up to 64 players in a game, so we had like 25 players in a single Iron Man. Oh, shit. Man, you guys have the server capacity set up to handle that? That's impressive. It's very, very impressive. Yo, Dirty Bird. What's well, good? Happy Monday. Welcome to the Grail stream. A little TZ meth action on this Monday night. This, this April Fool's Monday night to kick off the month. Sean decided to fuck with us earlier. He joked that his 98 Zon died on Hardcore with two bars left to 99 when we were not thinking about April Fools. And he got us. He got us very aggressively. Power to him for that. Power to Sean for the guys got jokes. Guys just throwing zingers. <laughs> oh, I didn't forget, Sean. I didn't forget, brother. Yo, Bradsky, what's up, dude? It's been a minute, man. How are you? What's good? Heavy bracers, diamond. I will keep that for upping runes. Man, Mephisto, what's going on here? You are slowing down a little bit here. Not liking this recent drop velocity. 
You are not looking too good lately. Come on now. Oh, yes. This is your busy season, right? Yeah, that's why you very much like the fall resets, if you will. Or the winter resets, rather, for D2 as opposed to the spring. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean is right. Oof. Well, I don't know if any of you guys out there are going to be playing the PTR of Diablo 4 coming. If you guys are still enjoying Last Epoch or indoor still playing a little bit of D2R Season 6. I hope everything is treating everybody well in the gaming hemisphere. Or you're playing a little D2R modded action, as many people are still doing with PD2. Uh, do you know what you're going to go, Roma, by the way? I know we were talking about it earlier, but I don't know if I saw you respond. Do you know what character you're going to rock? Oh my god, unique sacred armor, unique sacred armor. Yo, let's fucking go. Yo, let's go right now. I already have a Templars. I already have a Templars. Dude, please God. Please, mother of God. Please, God. Yo, let's go. Yo, let's go, boys. <laughs> I know, it's probably a Templars. It's a one, it's a one out of nine. It's a 1 out of 9 chance it rolls. It's 1 out of 8 or 1 out of 9, but I'm pretty sure it's a 1 out of 9. Oh my god, dude. Oh, the ID scroll. That's a great point. Oh, you know what, though? Ah, too late. It's alright. It's in the book. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, hold on, guys. Hold on, we got to turn the music down a little bit for this. Yo, Mikey B, what's good, brother man? Yo, is it going to happen right now? It's going to happen, boys and girls. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. The blue pill or the green pill? Blue or green, blue or green, blue or green, blue or green, blue or green. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, Dirty Bird, man. Why you got to dog me like that with, with just the RNG Templar times two, brother, man? Big F. That's ah, all good. Honestly, we, we we knew it probably wasn't deep down, but this is only my... Yeah, so so this is only my second sacred on the grail. Um, so technically speaking, Tyrael's is one... I'm pretty sure it's a one out of nine roll. So statistically speaking, I'm on two Templars now. So it's all good, man. It was an April Fool's joke, man. <laughs> dude, it's all good, man. It's still exciting, dude. It's obviously really exciting. It's fun to have these moments on stream, guys. That's part of why you guys join the Grail streams, man. <laughs> Definitely get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked, theory. <laughs> Definite skill issue. Fafo. High end, but not God tier, as they would say. I just effed around and I found out. High end, not God tier. Damn, dude, that was so exciting, boys and girls. That would have been fucking awesome if we ID'd that Tyrael's on stream together. But it's okay. On to the next one. On to the next TZ meth roll. All right, Neff, I'll 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 take it. I appreciate you dropping me a sacred armor. Honestly, I think I fucked it up because I picked up that scroll and I needed to pick it up manually when Roma was telling me to ID it with that scroll. So I self-inflicted that Templar's boys and girls. I think I only have myself to blame for that one. Shame on me, man. Shame on you, War the Wise. Shame on you, brother. Whew. Man, 
Yeah, I think the, yeah, the first the first sacred armor dropped in TZ Cows. Maybe it was like a month and a half ago. Um, ooh, forgot about these. Both trash. <laughs> I know, I know, Liv. RNG's RNG. RNG is RNG. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We know, we know, we know. Uh, Liv, is the count? The count's been on 15 for a while. Is it still good or is it being wonky again? Really don't know what's going on with the plugin. Twitch, Twitch works flawlessly. It's something to do with YouTube. It's got to be like in the back end API connection with the plugin, but maybe it is still 15. Maybe it went down, maybe it went up. I don't know. It's on 12. Okay. All good. I'll have to refresh it. Uh, war boots. Okay, don't care. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mephisto. You know what? I will go check that amulet, though. Because why not? So Fatherson gets himself a rare Archon Staff. I get myself a Templar's Might. Just a little slap and tickle. Everybody's getting teased tonight on April Fools, clearly. Maybe I shouldn't have chose my Grail run tonight. That was a very poor form of me to do so. Right, Kron? What was your boy thinking, man? Oh my god. Holy mother of Christ. Do you guys see what I just teleported into? I am not even attempting to go back. Nope. Nope. How many? Let, let's count how many dolls are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more coming there on the right. It's, a, it's an elite because if you look right here, look at his red head. You can see him right there. That's an elite pack, obviously, because it's mited. Nope. Dude, that could have been that that could have literally been it right there. Honestly, I mean, I know that I had energy shield and I know that we obviously have 54 percent block and we have a little bit of the physical 10 percent physical damage reduction. Obviously, we have the PDR by 15 as well on integer. But dude, that that could have been game over right there. That that was gnarly. Yeah, that's a quick abort. That was a very fast finger abort right there. Yep. I agree, dude. It just takes one to crit, man. If it just crits, it's game over. And I have no idea. Obviously, they were mited, but I didn't see what else the elite had, right? If he was fire enchanted and they fucking crit, bro, game over. Game over right there on the dual splash physical. Physical and fire, game over. Yeah, my fingers immediately saw that and I went up and hit escape. That was a tough teleport right there. <laughs> the last five minutes of this stream have been more exciting than my runs. I appreciate that, brother. Well, we are welcome to have you more often on these streams, Dirty. It's been a minute. Uh, to be fair, I was also traveling, so I wasn't able to stream much lately. But obviously, we are still progressing through this hardcore Holy Grail in an attempt to complete this, which would be great. Uh, does Barb shout stay on forever? No. So Liv, if you look here, there's, see how it says, well, it's a perfect 664, which I, which I rolled, which you guys remember, which is a beautiful thing. Um, well, sorry, let me pull up the skills, Liv. So if you go look here, you can see the time. So battle command is 150, and battle orders is 150. So you can see the amount of seconds and duration. Unfortunately, there's no tooltip like some mods out there, like we were watching earlier with analysis. Uh, analysis. Annihilus. So, yeah, unfortunately, no quality of life tip there, which is annoying. So, yeah, Liv, I think you were asking me also the other day, like, oh, why do I always cast it multiple times? And it's because sometimes the orders doesn't actually stick. So if you're shouting battle command or battle orders, um, sometimes it just doesn't hit. And so I'd rather just do it multiple times quickly just to be safe. Yeah, having having the timers there, the buffs would be... 
would be a welcome, welcome change for sure. Kron, were you here when I had up the mod? I think you were watching it, right? Or I don't know if you were AFK when I pulled it up. What Roma and guys were working on. Yep. Good point. You want the battle orders first. Sorry, battle command first, excuse me, because it's plus one. So it increases the skill when you then cast battle orders. That's also partially why I do want to get Chains of Honor over on the Merc like we were talking about earlier, because it increases his cure, which is nice. Yeah, I agree, Mike. Who doesn't love an Echo Barb? Honestly, it's 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 been a minute since I've played an Echo. I mean, I know Singer, Echo, Interchangeable, Vernacular, but yeah, I love Echo Barbs, man. I like calling them Echoes, at least. That's my name for them. Fuck the Singer. I'm all about the Echo. Echoing. Ooh, okay. Man, I feel like there's a lot of dolls on this these seed maps, man. Like teleporting through here and I've gotten stuck. And not even that, but they, they all feel very extra fast to me. That was a little scary going through that map there. When you kind of get stuck in a corner and you're trying to teleport through, man, that's the worst. Like, based that situation that happened a couple minutes ago, obviously I was just teleporting through and it was just bad luck. Nice! So you play in a Warcry Barb for physical damage? Or just like a support Barb in general? Ooh, let's see. Ooh, got a little more excited. Colwyn's. Uh, this is what? The Witch, so Wizendraw? Yeah. Well, you know, I will check out the world belt. Why not? Ooh, that's a Balrog skin. We still don't have an Arcane's Valor yet. That would have been nice. Honestly, dude, welcome to Hardcore. We welcome you. We love having you over on the community, Dirty Bird. And honestly, dude, support players are critical. So there is nothing wrong with being a supporting cast in Hardcore, man. And the best part about being an Echo Barb early on is you get in all the private sea bales because everybody covets to have a Barb player who knows what they're doing in general to support and cast. And of course, stun with Warcry and the waves and what have you. So if you're a veteran Barb player, you will be welcomed into the Hardcore universe. Dude, hell yeah, man. Ooh, man, that was a hard hit on the Merc. Ooh. Meph is not messing around here. Oh, I saw the war gauntlets. I got excited there. Ooh, man. Demon head, too. Could have been another Andes. But it didn't roll the durability, so nope. Moonfall. No dice. Man, that's another Slayer guard. It wasn't Andes. Yeah, that'd be a nice synergy to... I mean, they. I forget exactly what they changed. I mean, they, they did buff Warcry in 2.4. Um, I'm forgetting exactly what I'm pretty sure they gave it another synergy if I'm not mistaken because they definitely buffed it I just can't remember offhand like what exactly was the synergy connection but they changed it I have to go look 2.4 was too long ago yo grumpy hobbit coming over maybe from barricade stream I don't know if he was streaming maybe good to see you brother happy Monday happy April you missed some excitement a couple uh, drops ago. We're doing Terrorize Mephisto. We dropped a Sacred Armor. Unfortunately, it was my second Templar. Surprise, surprise. It did not roll Tyriel's Might. Ah, Fatherson. Nice, dude. Getting your first Cold Sunder. Honestly, dude, a Cold Sunder is better than no Cold Sunder. It's too bad that it's 88, but 
Again, make sure you compensate with that cold res because that cold enchanted splash is going to smack. You saw that happen to me multiple times early on where I had almost a couple near rips from the cold splash fatherson. So definitely be mindful of the cold res if you are going to equip it. Ooh, look at these boots with the potential, but oh my god. That's a great try, but it's a trash 10, a low roll across the board, and a decent moderate 16 out of 25 MF. Yeah, we would love Mephisto to pick it up here in these final seven minutes, boys and girls. But honestly, I can't complain. He dropped us a sacred armor tonight, so that's really all you can ask for. So I know, right? It's always it's always the elites. I find I, I feel like I've I've found, I think, maybe one or two tutorials over my D2 career. And I know that one of them I found came from for sure Chaos Sanctuary, which came from an elite pack. That's the only, only way I could drop. Um, and I think the others may have actually come in pits, if I'm remembering. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's always something about that. Um, yeah, there's always something about the the elites, man, and dropping cereals. Yes, he did. That's true. Live. He did give me the Grail find of the night. Fire lizards. Ooh, Thresher. I mean, he's given us a magic Thresher, a magic Arachnids. He's given me a magic Demon Head helm. Now, obviously, none of them had the failed roll durabilities, but. You know, ooh, oh my god. Guys, I just lost my seed map. Oh, I just lost my seed map. I'm such a noob. What a noob. That's painful because I just lost that e I just lost that epic. Oh, that sucks. I had that side by side LK map that was so good. Oh, that's painful. I was going too fast. Ah, such is life, man. I'll get a good seed back. Yep. I misclicked just by a hair. Yeah, you need a fucking warning sign on that shit, man. That that does piss me off how they honestly do that. That is always so annoying. It's all good. Worst things can happen, man. I lost my seed map, but it wasn't a rip. So, man, that's honestly, you guys saw how good my LK was. My LK maps were literally adjoining fire camps. They were such a good LK. Well, honestly, I'm probably going to, I mean, I'm going to run this again until I, oh, I won't do it tonight, but I'll run it, run it again until I find a really good LK map again, because that's really what I cared about. Oh, man. I know, and I hate fucking teleporting with dolls, not knowing where the fuck I'm going. Ooh, and this is a shit meth map anyway, so. He calls it schmucking up, or you call it. Yeah, honestly, that that's what hurts mostly about that, was like how good my LK map was there. It was such a good seed, man. All good. Shit happens, boys and girls. Ooh, spike shield. I don't need this sword back. Uh, uh, oh, was it a flawless amethyst? Yes, it was. Thank you. And it, the worst part is, too, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I clicked, like, right here. It's, like, right in between. Honestly, I'm starting to get a little zoned out and tired from the day. It's not surprising that that just happened. Happens to the best of us, I suppose. All good. Oh, I know, Les. <laughs> I feel like every time on stream, we've, we've been talking about your uh, Flawless Amethyst collection. Yo, Native, what's up, brother? Been a minute, man. Good to see you, my dude.
It's been a minute, native man. What's good? How's life? Oh, nice. We need a lot of facets here. We just got a facet. Let's pray to the gods. We just got another one. Let's see. Nice. We did need the lightning die. That is a grail drop, boys and girls. We just got another facet. Let's go. Honestly, what's annoying about the facets is I found... Yeah, what, what was it? I didn't even look again. It was a 3-5. Not, not great, but I'll take it. I'll take a 3-5. Um, the worst part about the facets, guys, is I think you guys know in my streams, I found four cold facets that were all cold dies. And obviously those only count as one grail find, because you need a you need a, a level up and a die of every element, right? It was brutal that I was finding four colds in a row. Obviously as a cold sork, it was nice. Um oh, thank you, Dirty Bird. I appreciate that. An hour of TZ Mephisto players three, nothing keepable. Yeah, this is going to be the final run here if I can get to him fast enough. Well, that fanaticism gave me a heart attack right there for a second. All right, Mef, what are you going to give me on the final run here? Come on now. Oh, of course, Mike. Or Mikey, rather. My name is also Mike, for those that didn't know. So I share the name with Mikey. But Mikey's legendary, man. Mikey drops by the streams, man. I remember. You're always here supporting, which I appreciate, brother. Come on, Mef. What are you going to drop me on this final run here? Oh, jack shit. <laughs> Good old blade bone and ice blink. Ooh, an ethereal ice blink. Look at that bad boy. That's not so bad. And tombs are not very friendly at all. Or a frozen orb sorceress. So, well, here, you know what we're gonna do real quick, actually? Let's go actually see what this seed map is for LK. It's probably gonna be shit, but we'll go check it out. <laughs> oh, my name, my name is War Theory. War the Wise, Theory War, you know. Dude, cheers, brother. Thanks for tuning in, man. Happy Tuesday tomorrow, Mikey. I mean, my name is War the Wise, a.k.a. Mike, Big Mike, you know. No, it's all good. Honestly, we're probably going to be wrapping it up here, boys and girls. We're just going to see if we can't find a good LK map here. I'll have to kind of do a couple runs to see. Okay, we got one here. All right. I mean, honestly, even if it's not adjoining, if it's a double fire camp, then that's all I really care about. I mean, the adjoining was obviously epic, but you really want the double. That's really what we're looking for here. Unfortunately, it's looking like just one. Oop. I was clicking off my computer screen. Yep. You know what? All good, guys. You know what? I think a lot of people have to dip out. This is probably honestly a good time to end the stream, guys. This was a really fun stream. We got two Grail finds tonight. So as you can see, we have 475 items acquired. We're still at 87%, but we like those two finds tonight. This is a great two hour plus stream. Uh, good to be back since I wasn't here all of last week. Native, sorry I'm catching right at the end. Roma, thank you for sticking around. Calm, congrats to you on the infinity. Grumpy, again, thank you for dropping by and great to see you. Kron, thank you for those two coffees, a.k.a. beers, the five gifted subs. Very, very good looks. Dirty Bird, Fatherson, uh, obviously uh, Liv, Sean, anybody still tuning in? Sorry if I missed anybody. Always trying to make my way around the horn. Liv, have a wonderful day tomorrow. Uh, again, my next stream is going to be Saturday because Andario is going to be TZ'd, so I expect to hopefully get at least one more Grail find because it is Andy. So again, tune in for my next stream Saturday night, guys. I'm usually going to be live around 845 Central. I will catch you guys then. And um, yo, Loombox, what's up, buddy? Catching you uh, right at the end. What's up? Holy cow, man. Caught your stream and decided to hop on my Grailer for the first time all year. Was it 91% and I've gotten two times Grails in the last two runs. Dude, that's the best feeling when you're in the home stretch and you can honestly get there. I know I'm just tuning out, Box, but again, uh, best vibes and wishes to you. Again, happy April officially, everybody. I will catch you guys in the next stream on Saturday. And uh, yeah.
Cheers, fellas.